Um, all right, let's see. Fate of Tiltrin. After we, the war broke out, refugees fled the neighboring kingdom of Adoran. Their arrival in Til uh, Tiltrin had... Oh, wait a minute. It's not displaying. Hold on a second. Sorry, chat. Uh, their arrival in Tiltrin has stirred up tensions. To progress in this scenario, explore the region or purchase information from the informant. You have helped the bandits save a refugee, plus 20. So there's kind of a interesting story going on here. Suspicion. We don't have any suspicion because we've been following the law, more or less. Are these also refugees? Maybe we can help them out. Game capture? Yeah. Are you bandits? We have nothing. Uh, we are only refugees fleeing uh, a Duranian war. Please let us go, I beg you. Um, we could give them some bread. That gives us a little bit of reputation. Influence. Sure, let's do that. Yeah. Thank you. Now attack them. Why would I do... Why is that an option? That's bizarre. Um, I think we can do some fishing. I don't know what uh, our current quest is. Give me a second. World map. I haven't actually looked at the world map. Oh. The refugee leader awaits you in the haven. Okay, so we could go there. Plateau stables, if the horseshoe fits. Hammer for hire. Um, worrisome delay. Hold on, guys. I'm going to just get my uh, slippers. I'll be right back. Something I try and uh, keep in mind is that <clears throat> a lot of things that are designed to be warm are mostly meant to keep the warmth in. That's how they stay, they keep warm. They're not so much that they're warm, it's just that they're insulated so that they keep the warmth in. So um, if you put the thing on, like for instance gloves, before you're cold, then you're more likely to keep your, you know, hands or feet warm um, rather than waiting until you're cold before putting it on because if your feet are cold and you put the slippers on they're not going to really do much because they're already cold so there's you know it takes a while for the the warmth to build back up anyway weird a weird uh, segue i know um let's let's see if we can let's go to storm cap uh and uh get ourselves a quest or something so chat, hello bot, how are you doing? Um, I recently played my first Monster Hunter game. Uh, a friend of mine bought me Monster Hunter World, which uh, if there are Monster Hunter fans in chat, I, I like, I like, I don't want to seem adversarial, but I just want to make it clear, like I, I don't really, I'm not, I have never really played much of the Monster Hunter games, but I also don't really care if Monster Hunter is like not the not the good one like that's a, that's a thing that i will often see in like very rabid fan bases i'm not saying anyone in chat is but you know for future reference because people can comment on this video in the future right but either way i i, I started playing monster hunter world and i am really enjoying it actually i i am uh, enjoying it a lot more than i expected i would monster hunter is super freaking boring well um, I, I think it's a matter of taste, honestly. Because, like, the thing is, like, I, I've talked about this before in games, but, like, if, um, grind is only what you call, uh, the gameplay that isn't very compelling. And if you aren't compelled by the gameplay, then it's going to feel like it's grinding. And I know that Monster Hunter is a game where you have to fight, uh, much the same monsters over and over again. Uh, please take into consideration that I've been playing a lot, I've played like 40 to 50 hours now of Stallcraft, which is basically Minecraft Stalker, but it's also a game where you walk, it takes you 10 minutes to walk out to the zone where you need to collect resources, and you can collect those resources for like an hour and then get shot and killed and lose like all of them. 
and I've been enjoying that game. So for me, grind is, um, it's really a matter of perspective. Like you, it's only called grind if you're not enjoying the game. So we're, we're doing a wolf den. It combines the worst of RPG grinding and the worst of Dark Souls gameplay. I, I kind of disagree. First of all, I don't find the gameplay, the combat very, very much like Dark Souls at all. It doesn't really have much Dark Souls in it. The combat is is very strange. Um, but I, you know, I've been I've been enjoying it. You, you know, you pick you pick your weapon basically. I think that's the thing is like you gotta you have to make sure you pick a, a weapon that's right for you or that is fun for you. Um, okay, so this is Cactus. I have to re remember re familiarize myself with this game a little bit. Uh, Drino was the one that um, okay, Drino is ranged. Porle is the one that had um, cool, stealthy kind of stabbing abilities. Hey, Dim Dimethorn, how are you doing? Hey, right, we have um, Dimethorn. Do you want to be in this game? Actually, let me uh, let me open it up to chat. We have a, a sixth member, so we have one extra member. Whoever wants it first, uh, just like say me in chat or something. But we have another member that can become one of the party members. Where is our sixth member? Or do we only have five right now? See ya, I'm a 10. See ya on the DF stream, unless I'll be terribly busy that day. Okay, take it easy. Give it to the next. I mean, all right. But, oh, it's open. Um, We can move people around a bit. I think Drino's actually in the in, in a good spot. Um, Porlay, Porlay can be there. Gundoff. Gundalf is the new is the new character. I don't think I can name him now, or can I? Can we rename him now? Doesn't look like it. I'll name him after uh, uh, this is over. I'm opening it up to chat, so anyone who's not a character has the uh, p potential to be one now if they want. Um, okay, so we're gonna run Gundalf in there. Actually, let's see who's next. Oh, there's more wolves over here. I did not see that. Okay, so then it's this wolf. So we want to try and kill this wolf before they get to move. Probably we will not be able to, but I, I think that this is fine. This is a good move here. And we'll do a slice. That's enough slices. Gandalf, Gandalf's long lost forgotten brother. Uh, insert the... Uh, the 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 trivia that there's actually two blue wizards in the lord of the rings world that are never heard of or talked of i love i love that um trivia because it's so kind of like it's kind of worthless <laughs> it's like what what do i care <laughs> i mean that's kind of the lord of the rings world in a way i i, I think that's why people like it so much is that um you you can uh there's a lot of stuff in it that is like, why, why is this in here? Why, why do I care? Why, why did you have this? Okay, so I'm going to try and attack this wolf. Um, if I attack them on the side like this, then, then I'll be able to do some extra damage. Because um, I think Porlay gets some extra damage um, when uh, he's attacking something. Uh, oh, wow. We just crit killed it. Right, Porlay was just like absolutely the ridiculous dps unit can we throw an axe at this guy no we can't okay well that was a good turn um cactus is our sword and board i'm pretty sure um we can have them run into this wolf who's next in the turn order uh this one over here so we could have him run over here i think that that would be fine we can split the group a little bit divide and conquer you know it's really worthless even if you get really into the lore i i don't know you know like i i don't want to make it sound like i think that uh there's you know it shouldn't certain things shouldn't exist in a story if it doesn't contribute to the story because i think that that's where um you know that's actually good lore in a way in in my opinion like, if it doesn't actually contribute to the main story, what that's really doing is it's, like, kind of adding a little bit of, um... It's making the world feel a bit alive, you know? If everything that happens in a world is purely for the sake of the plot, then, um, it just feels a little bit... I don't know. 
sorted. You know what I mean by that? Uh, it just feels like it, it's convenient. Everything just falls into place. Everything is wrapped up in a neat little bow. Um, whereas if you have other things going on, other things kind of, other wheels turning, um, then then the world feels a little bit more like it exists when the when the main characters are not on screen, and uh, and it's allowed to to have a bit be a bit more organic. That's my opinion. Worthless is a bad choice of word. It just doesn't relate to anything else is all. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean that to seem like a, I was arguing with you. Um, are you streaming Door Fortress this weekend? I am. I'm going to be streaming Door Fortress on Saturday. I really, really want to get back to Door Fortress, and I want to. I want to do more Door Fortress streams. I might even um, do more than once a week because I, I, I need to. I really need to play more of that game. Um, every time this unit kills an enemy, you gain one. Oh right, R Rodrino had like a really cool ability. Forgot about that. Uh, this wolf is next, unfortunately. That's okay. Right now we're just taking, um, like, our armor is taking a beating, but that's actually totally fine. I I really like this game. It's got some really novel uh, mechanics, and and it offers the uh, it offers the player quite a lot of flexibility. Like I don't have like, like a reminder. Um, do you want to let them go and win the battle? No, I want to, I want to kill them. Because I'm pretty sure we'll get more stuff if we do that. Uh, I don't have to, like, these, these, uh, turn orders, they could be anyone. I don't have to, like, use cactus. Like, they don't, there's no set turn order for initiative. And I really like that. Um, obviously you can't use the same person twice in the same, um, turn order. So, uh, you know, if I've already used, like, Mimesis, for instance, she can't go again. Um, unfortunately, she hasn't gone yet. And look at this. We get to do a nice little hammer thing. Ooh, look at that. Go, Mimesis! Destroy! The absolute bomb. Bomb with that hammer. Um, this... Well, we can, we can kill this wolf. And then we can throw an, uh, an axe at that other wolf. Yeah. I I really like this game. Mimesis claps. That just sticks out because the Lord of the Rings lore is so expansive. Yeah, it's um the the two wizards, the two blue wizards are just so strange to me specifically because it's like there's all of this other stuff going on and it's all like grandiose and world changing and meanwhile there's just these two blue wizards uh out in the woods somewhere doing what exactly who could say you know they're just they're vibing A very there's very few actually that's not true i think that um one of the strengths uh of lord of the rings is its vibes because when you think about it uh, there's more people vibing in Lord of the Rings than maybe, like, uh, many other fantasy books. Like, think about, Tom, like, obviously, I, everyone loves to talk about Tom Bombadil, right? If you don't know, if you've only watched the movies, in the books, there's an extra character um, called Tom Bombadil, who is always fated to be cut from the lore um, because he just doesn't fit. And that's the whole point of Tom Bombadil, uh, is he's just ludicrous. And that's kind of what makes him great. Um, but you, you think about Tom Bombadil is he's he just be vibing in the woods, you know, like there's like creatures and people and like gods in the Lord of the Rings universe that are just kind of hanging around and vibing. They're not really doing anything of worth. Like imagine being a god and just kind of sing, sitting around and smoking the pipe and, and writing your notes you know, like you just kind of vibing for a literal millennia. That's that's Lord of the Rings. That's that's the vibes. Um, let's see if we can do anything cool with. Um, I think who is it? Is it Cactus? Was uh, was our resident um, blacksmith? Sounds like Dwarf Fortress, to be honest. Yeah, I think. Well, I mean, Dwarf Fortress. 
you can't make a fantasy game i think without having some kind of influence from uh from lord of the rings i maybe that's i i'm sure someone's gonna disagree with me but there but i mean like you know what i mean i i don't mean that as a put down at all um but you know lord of the rings has done quite a lot to uh influence it's it's the grandfather of a lot of fantasy um I do kind of want to do some more blacksmithing just to raise our blacksmithing trait. But you know what? I would also like to see some other mini games. First of all, let's um, rename our character. Um, rename Gundalf. Uh, so did anyone want to be Gundalf? I didn't really see any candidates. Like, I don't think anyone said they wanted to be Gundalf. I'm good. Bot was cool with it. Nymathorn is is we're we're good, singing songs, drinking and smoking the leaf. That's the Lord of the Rings life. Yeah, I think that's uh, one of the reasons why like, you know that that question like if you could be in any fictional world, which one would you want to be in? Lord of the Rings is actually not a bad candidate because you know though there's a lot of strife, and uh, war and stuff like you know bad stuff. Um, there's also like thousands of years of peace between those things like. There's a lot of downtime in the Lord of the Rings universe. Um, whoever wants to be Gundalf, let me know. Otherwise, they're just going to be... They're just gonna, I'm just going to pick someone. Can you call him Grand Oaf? All right. Sounds good. I'll accept, uh, I'll, I'll accept fictional names. He's got a good look. I'm so glad I am. Um, we're coming back to this game, honestly. Let's see. Uh, Grand Oaf maybe could be our apothecarist. We do need an apothecarist. Um. So we've got a protect. Uh, no. Uh, blacksmith. Oh, sorry. Drino is our apothecarist. Uh, Mimi is our fisher person. Porle is our craftsman. Um, Grand Oaf. What, what what could Grand Oaf be? I do still need to figure out how to cook. Like, it's something I was, I was genuinely struggling with. Um, a cook? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the idea. Talk. Feel free to come back often. Sing. Sing a song to let the bard... In you shine requires a loot. Interesting that that's an option. Um, we don't really have a lot of money. We probably could stand to rest. Tinker a camp pot to unlock the profession. I think. Ooh, is that is that it? Is that is that what I have to do? Um, we could maybe take some new quests. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. We regularly update our job offers. Um, unaware of the danger they face, a handful of Adoranians have gone hunting in Sika's forest. Someone must warn them, lest they get eaten. We can go east and, or sorry, west, and then this is, this is southwest over here. Tomb of the Ancients. We could do our first dungeon. <sighs> I really like this game. I, this game is so much better than it has, like, any right to be. Um, like, when I first heard of this game, I'm like, that could be cool. But, like, this game, in a way, gets, like, Dungeons and Dragons, um, like, kind of campaigning really correct. Like, it's, it's, it's in a way, um, the best, like, RPG fantasy game. Tinker a camp pot. Okay, so I'm gonna tinker a camp, up a camp pot. A pot, a camp pot. Um, let me see if I can't do it. It's a solid game. Hope they make more. In different settings yeah i'd be i'd be i'd be cool with that i kind of just hope they keep adding to this one because they they've added some stuff um i know there's um i don't know if this was I, I guess this was a thing there's another where is it there's another tree or is it not camp is it paths paths was not in this game and i'm very close to unlocking our first path uh, and it looks like there's a lot of different paths. There's crime and chaos is a thing. 
I know I'm, I think I'm a tan with saying that the game's, um, the ability to be a bandit in this game is kind of undeveloped. Um, which, you know, I, I would like to see that be a thing. Um, but like you can be a bandit. It's, it is kind of in the game. Looks like we have different levels for each of these. So I've apparently leveled up a little bit in crime and chaos and then trade and wealth is its own thing. Mysteries and wisdom knowledge acquired. Okay, so I'm glad that there's experience in all of these. One of my favorite RPG traits in any game is um, when you earn experience for the tasks that you accomplish. Like, okay, I know I just described earning experience. Let me explain. I'm sorry. Um, when you earn specific experience for the specific tasks that you uh, accomplish. So meaning... Like, for instance, in Adam, though I didn't have a lot of time spent in Adam, something I liked about it is, like, the more time you spend using a sword, the more experience you are with using a sword. You know, specific professions are something I really enjoy in games because it means that you're rewarded for um, the things that you're doing. Those are, those are, like, your personal rewards and not just some kind of blanketed generalized rewards. You're not just, like... Oh, you got some, you know, whatever generic points for, you know, killing the goblins and rescuing the princess and, you know, sorry, not to, to not to be cliched there, but, you know, like, and, and also you traded a certain amount of stuff. And so you get just a bunch of points that you spend on stuff that is completely unrelated to those tasks. Um, I, I appreciate in this game that you get specific experience for specific um, kind of uh, stuff done. That was a tangent. Sorry about that. Um, all right. So I could buy some ore. That thing is about 50% of what makes RPGs for me. This looks like a game I would really enjoy. I, de I, I like highly recommend it. Any mercenary who has spent a week in the wilderness has simple wants. A small blade, a shaving brush, and a little free time. So, uh, I do have some ore. I think I'd like to buy some more. That rhymes. So that's... We're doing it. Key ingredient in cooking. Okay. So, um, I, I've bought some stuff. I'm gonna try and do some blacksmithing. Thank you so much. I will pray for you. Not sure if I have to um, turn the ore into ingots. I don't think I do. I think it's pretty automatic what happens. Confirm. Uh, so we can make throwing ac uh, axes. Uh, I do. I should do this, but um, I would I'd rather hold off. Also, I should also sell some of our stuff that we're no longer using. Um, so that would be. Maybe these got deserters, brigadine. I'm, I can do a quick look to see uh, if these are any better than what I'm currently using. This is armor plus eight. This is armor plus 11. So it is actually, we, we have better armor. Uh, and then deserters, brigadine is um, critical damage plus 5%, guard plus 10%, armor plus 11%. Uh, is there a way to inspect... Sometimes it's like just hold control. No, it doesn't look like it. Not inspect, sorry, uh, compare. So this is armor plus five. Drino cannot equip medium armor. What about Mimi? Can Mimi equip? Yes, yes she can. And she could definitely use this really nice armor. So I might just sell these since they're, oh, there's, there's, that is armor plus eight. I'm sure someone can use that. Let's go back to Drino. Drino could use that and it is better for him. And then Porlay. Porlay is actually totally fine with his current armor, even though it's it's you know, it's not great. Uh this is guard plus ten percent and then armor plus two. And this is like just straight up better in every way. And I think I did um in the last playthrough, the the the, the turn based fest session I did, um I did make some stuff and then I I hadn't taken the time to equip it. So um, that's what's happening now. I think Grand Oaf is also a sword and board. Oh, that's what I'm looking at. What about um, Cactus? Cactus is also sword and board. Uh, I think that, okay, that yeah, it's the same shield. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sell the rest of our stuff. I appreciate that I can do all of that stuff while I'm also in, 
a merchant's like UI uh, really really does a lot. Animal remains. Uh, I wonder if I can sell that to the uh, the food guy. Always feels uh, that thing is about fifty percent. Always feels weird when you get better at cooking by fighting slimes or whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, there's a there's a place for that as well. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't think that that is necessary. Oh, there's another dude here. Oh, they'll sell me, like, food. Food, food. Can I sell this cactus or carcass here? Pungent aroma of the wolf meat makes your mouth water. We should probably try and sell that or um, cook that stuff. I would love to um, buy some general food, but we really don't know. I don't know what I need until I, I make camp. So let's... I'm going to make camp... Just so that I have access to the Tinker's Workshop. So let's use this. Confirm. And cooking pot. There we go. And I was right... Oh, wow. Look at that. I was right to buy that iron ore because it actually uses quite a lot. So I'm going to see... There, there, we might, oh, there's... Okay, so there's no Tinkering minigame, I think. First craft bonus discovery. We got, oh, you know what? Bill has leveled up. <laughs> Bill the pony has uh, has leveled up. Aptitude points. What can we do with... Bill can get some more carrying capacity. Uh, or turn into a war pony. Um, can now fight and wear armor plating. Oh my god. Um, let's give Bill some strength. Yo, let's go, Bill. Let's go. So we have two days worth of food. Um, I feel like I should rest, but I'm not. I'm not sure when I should do that. Pristine Fang. I don't really want to sell anything just yet. Use. Okay, so we can cook now. Maybe. Uh. Hold on, let me see. Can I make Grand o o o Grand Oaf the cook? We still don't have access to the cooking ability. Hold on a second. Place in camp. There we go. Now we can have a, a cook. So let's make Grand Oaf our cook. Remember to plonk down the pot in the camp. I'm excited to see Bill become OP. <laughs> the moment when Bill becomes the strongest in your party. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so now, um, use. This is still not what we want. Oh, okay, here we go. Cooking pot. Use. Grand oaf. Uh, so we need wheat and salt to make bread. Um, okay. Well, we don't have either of those things. I definitely want to do... I, I, like, I want to go and get that stuff. Can we... Um, actually exit this camp for a moment. Uh, I'm going to go and buy some of that stuff because we want to level up their their cooking ability um, so that they can get some more recipes. I'm assuming that that is a thing that we're going to want to do. Um, so let's buy a bit of salt and then hopefully we can also buy some wheat. Although where would we buy the wheat? Where would one buy the wheat? Not from you, surely to God. You just have meats. Um, we might have to go to a, a, a mill. I wonder if you have anything. Oh, well, you have salt. Not really what we're looking for. We might have to go to a wheat mill. That's fine. That's a, at least something to do. Hey, twin. That's Tolkien. Uh, Tolkien had to send Bill home and they would just have stormed into Mordor. That's why. Uh, wheat from the plant food cellar. Is there... Oh, you mean uh, the apothecarist, maybe? No. Is there a plant food cellar that I'm not seeing? I see two merchants. It's the, the meat cellar and uh, the veggies. Not really seeing another one here. The left of the meat food cellar. Just it's just this person, and they have veg vegetables. They just have the veggies. 
Um, we could also, we could check out the inn. There's a small chance that they sell wheat here. No. No, no food here. Or no wheat here. Uh, last chance. Not town hall. I think, I think we're just, we just have to go to a, a mill, I think. I really do think that that's it. Um, let's depart. And I'm gonna open up our map. Wait, must be a mushroom then, I guess. Old Wilbert's Fishery. Wealthy farm. We could check out the farm. They might have it. If the horseshoe fits. Apparently I have a quest here and I'm not sure what kind of quest. Uh, how do I check my quests? Objectives. Here we go. Buy a pony to be eligible for the special offer. And then there's rat infestation to our northeast. Hammer uh, for hire. Find a blacksmith and bring him here. Well, we did that. Um, is that not what we did? Maybe I have to talk to this guy. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, I'm also looking for a higher skilled blacksmith if you happen to know one. Well, how do I... Uh, how do I say yes to this? Your troop optimizes the use for of repair materials. Bonus repair materials store restore five additional armor points. Well, um, I, I've brought a a dude here. Uh, I'm not sure. Does he have to be skilled? Meaning, like, I guess he's a novice right now. So, oh right, I forgot about this, but um. Their profession actually gives them like genuine bonuses. So you notice that like alchemists, being an alchemist gives the uh, Adreno some extra dexterity. Uh, being an angler gives Mimi extra willpower. And being a tinker offers extra critical hits. That might actually be why Porlet is doing like such re absurd damage. You'll know when you find the blacksmith. Well, all right. All right, let's uh, let's head out. I'm gonna head southeast, or sorry, southwest. Sorry, my uh, help requested amateur hunters. Let's uh, let's go do that. Maybe Vild needs more experience. I think that that's it, because right now he's a novice. I have to imagine that if he levels up as a blacksmith, he'll become skilled. Oh, we got, we got. Um, ambushed by hoodlums i think is there only two of them because they're gonna get destroyed ain't no way you guys have any chance against six of us friend did the game crash i've been saying that a lot lately okay so there's three of them apparently um yeah there's still still no way oh you're in the mud okay we don't want to put mimi in the mud All right. Who's up first? Poacher. What we want to do is like engage them as quickly as possible. So Grand Oaf is going to run up and um, engage the poacher immediately so that they can't uh, use their ranged weapons. Engaged. Engage. Warp five. Number two. Very innocent like that. <laughs> Yeah, they do like a lot less damage um, when I I in melee. We'll have. Uh, I should have maybe done a, something more with Porlay because Porlay is not going to be able to reach anyone. What we're going to do is we're going to run past this hoodlum um, and then engage them f from behind. They, we don't actually like. We don't get to hit them from behind. Um, melee, Mimi does like a ridiculous damage because, um, basically if they have armor, she'll do extra bonus damage. Uh, this way, poor Lay can come in from behind and, uh, absolutely Shrek this guy. Sneak attack! Uh, I'm gonna actually save my axes because those, um, those use up axes. I have four of those remaining. Um, you know, th th those are not free. This, uh, oh, wow. Wow. 
So they did like eight damage to Mimi and also poisoned her. That's not, not good at all. Oh, I don't want to. No, I don't want to end your turn. Heals an ally for 10% of their max health. Also removes applications of poison, bleeding, and burning. Would be good um, to get over there and use that on Mimi. But um, for the time being, uh, Adrena was in a, not of a great situation. Might uh, might just like... Drino gets extra um, abilities if he can kill someone. But the only one he can hit without potentially hitting one of our friends is this Hulum here. So let's go ahead and do that. 100% chance to hit them. And then uh, Cactus is going to run over. Um, I think... I think... Uh, I think Grand Oaf is fine. Grand Oaf is fighting someone who's ranged, so they're they're going to do very little damage. Oh, and he can do an encouragement. And all allies in the area gain protection. There we go. Hurrah! You can do it. He gets to do that for free, because it's a special ability. And then he'll go ahead and uh, use his sword. Oh, these guys have poison. That kind of sucks. All right, um... Look, I'm going to use Mimi first because she's going to, again, going to do a lot more damage because the guy had armor. She'll do extra bonus damage if, if, if any of that damage includes armor damage. And she, unfortunately, is taking some damage. This guy gets to go and he's going to poison. I think everyone's poisoned now. Actually, no, Cactus is now poisoned twice. So he's going to be taking two damage per turn, which is no good. I'm surprised Porlay is not going to actually kill this guy. Okay, he did. <laughs> galvanization. That's That means we're winning the morale game, and uh, your units become galvanized, significantly boosting the damage they deal. You win the battle, your opponents are overwhelmed and try to flee. So around this point, uh, and this is like different for like every combat, but like if, you, if you're really doing well, um, then you will... Uh, you'll basically just win the morale game. I'm pretty sure you do gain... Um, You'll gain a like a very preliminary. I don't know if that's the right word. You'll gain a small reward um, for for uh, for like winning the morale game if you let them flee. But if you uh, if you keep on fighting, I'm pretty sure you get more stuff. Oh, nice! Andrino got the kill there, and so um, we got an extra bonus. And Cactus is, um, well, actually, can we do poor? No, poor lady has already had their fun. So we're going to run over here and kind of flank this guy. Hey, yeah. Um, but remember, he's going to take three damage from poison. Damn. Oh, my God. So the only one left who hasn't attacked is, um, is our lad here, Grand Oaf. He's going to... We'll do a... Um, we'll do a protection. Because that's free. You don't get to keep these. Um, as long as you get them... Like, as long as you have them, you should spend them. We can weaken this guy. Let's go ahead and weaken them. That means they'll do less damage on their turn. They only get the one turn left, so we might as well do that. And, like, though um, taking armor damage is fine... Uh, we probably, like, we have to repair that. Like, that costs us resources to repair. Oh, God, poor Lay. Yo, chill. Damn. The 30% ambush bonus on the shiv. So we have, um, five raw materials. It's going to take us, um, three to repair everyone. Why would we want human remains? I don't want the human remains. We'll take that damage dagger, though. I don't know if we can, um... I, I don't know if we can, like, disassemble stuff in this game. It would be kind of nice if we could. Like, if we could break something down. You've reached level 2 in the power and might path. Maximum valor points increased by 1. Uh, they're letting me know that I should absolutely make camp, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we unfortunately can't really cook anything right now. We can't make bread. That's one of the things I'm trying to get right now. But we can, um, we, we do want to get some food. So let's go ahead and, and we'll, uh, we'll eat these carcasses and the wolves. 
that's like free food basically uh, there's probably a good reason why we don't want to do that but i'll eat one loaf of bread hey you ever eat three wolves and a loaf of bread danger level level average that's fine i like grand oaf his name feels mighty <laughs> You've gained two um, points. The troop is well rested. Your troop's happiness is increased. Three plus three companions assigned to the campfire. Your troop happiness is 14. Your companions are pleased. The, the camp has produced some resources as well. Nice. Uh, let's see what we can do with tinkering. Can we break anything down? We can make a torch. A torch that can illuminate the darkest places as well as uh, set infected flesh on fire. Uh, we could make some lock picks. I don't know how many lock picks I have. I might only have one. It looks like I haven't made any. So it would actually be a good idea to make that. You do gain a bit of bonus for making, like, something for the first time. And, uh, let's also make a torch. I have a funny feeling we're gonna need that. Yo, cat, what are you doing? Hey. Hey. Get down. What are you doing? Hold on, I have to see what he's doing. What? Oh, I see. He's trying to get the treats. That's not happening. Yeah, yeah. He's angry that I, I found him out. It says how many of an item you have in the bottom right of crafting. Oh, yeah, thank you. So we're going to make a torch as well, just to, uh, again, we'll, we'll get a bit of experience from this. And a little bit of wisdom. Uh, let's also check our paths. So we get to do something. Oh, we just gain a level. Oh, I see. Okay, so these are like what... How we gain experience and titles. I don't know if title... Uh, oh, I guess. Okay, so titles earned gives us a lot of points. Um, and these are these are ways of getting titles. So if we were to recruit some companions, for instance, like 10 companions, we would become a legion and then we'd get a bunch of points. Um, attacks of opportunity performed zero. Uh, battles continued after enemies gave up one. Might titles obtained. That must mean like if we got 10 other titles. Armor layers created. Armor points restored. Wow. Okay, so these are like achievements that actually give you quite a lot of bonus. Interesting. Uh, and then when you level up, you gain extra, like, fairly large rewards. That's uh, that's really cool, actually. Um, it's an interesting way of doing things. So if we look over here, you can craft the lectern at level 2. Who knows what that means? Level 2 of bandit access to assassination missions in the list of bounties. So you get open up like a whole new uh realm of like questing and then trade and wealth um crowns earned through missions so that we do g g earn something from completing missions on this possibility to negotiate missions in the list of bounties interesting ah this game so cool i i really like it um does this d does drino have something to say they have a little question mark it's just just a little stomach problem trouble uh nothing serious i'm sure the wolves eat their root food raw why shouldn't i hope the pain will go away shortly suppress the stomach pain as much as possible mop up eat fresh food to limit the damage okay that seems like the, the, the thing to do all right so that was a little bit of a extra quest not even quest just like a little extra thing we did earn um a wisdom point to spend for a trait Awful dodgers. Your companions are honing their criminal skills and learning to master the art of stealth. The suspicion meter depletes 10% faster. We don't really need to do that. Troop are prepared to survive anything, including eating of their own. I don't know if I want to do that. Location markers. Your troop can add objective marker markers to the map. Uh, it's weird to me that that's a reward that you have to spend money on. Or not money on. Sorry. Three less food per day. Uh, you spend less spend influence to add plus one to an aptitude when leveling up. Interesting idea. Run duration is increased by twenty percent. Repair materials restore five additional armor points. We have we have things we can spend on all of these. We could make saddlebags. I have to assume the um are these is my one point. 
available on all of these or are these all different like do, uh, i don't know how to say this but like do i have only the one point that i can spend on on e any of these we could learn how to make smoked sardines pike soup um grilled carp yeah let's learn how to make grilled carp so yeah we only had the one <laughs> the one knowledge point and i spent it on a recipe okay good to know um that's that's a that's knowledge gained for the future you only get the one point and you can only spend it that's a little bit weird i i wish it was maybe a bit more um specific but that's fine andrino got sick he did get sick so how does one make a uh, some some carp grilled carp is carp and salt that sounds correct. So now uh, Mimesis is going to have uh, more more fishing to do. We got we to gotta do some more fishing. But in the meantime, let's head southwest. We've been uh, kind of dilly-dallying a little bit. You have 76 wages to pay. I don't have 76 wages. So a little bit concerned on that front. Uh, we got some cloth from some of this stuff. We got some more money. Uh, wh what is that over there? Are those, that looks like a symbol mountain mine. Well, we don't have a quest to, to do there. This is location defended, Pedra mountain mine. Um, I don't know where we could go fishing. Man, what's up? Do you want to come, do you want a lap time? Yeah. Right. Yo. Why? Uh, oh, is this the, these are the people I helped before, isn't it? My parents were sheep farmers back in Adoran. Uh, when I brought them to this abandoned sheepfold, their tired faces lit up and I saw hope in their eyes for the first time since we left. We've just learned that this building belongs to a man called Wilbert. I would like to meet him and convince him to let us stay here. But I would feel safer if mercenaries such as you could uh, escort me. The good people of Tultrin do not look kindly upon us refugees, and I fear this Wilbert person might become violent or refuse to even listen to me. I am willing to give you all I have for my parents' safety. Okay. This is actually going to build into some kind of more, uh, like, larger quest. But the one question is, do you guys have flour? My daughter is very proud to have secured this sheepfold, but we lack... The necessary materials to rebuild it would you be willing to trade some for a little food and a very useful recipe i need 10 wood for this and the exchange is mutton stew so instead of spending knowledge points on certain recipes you can just earn them which is kind of cool when lord layhart burned down my stables my whole livelihood went up in flames but dene found us this place a true blessing from the eye cool um, can we, we can look in this chest, but we would not want to take what's inside. Ornate key. This key probably opens intricate locks. Interesting thing for, uh, someone to have that, you know, basically has no money. They have some food and stuff, um, but they don't, I don't think they have any wheat. Okay, uh, whoa, you're like really speeding up forward here. Why are, why are you running so fast? I have to like... Okay, I thought we were escorting you. Why refuse? We are sheep farmers. If you would just let us stay in the sheep fold, we could... Absolutely not. I inherited this barn from my sister. I will not let anyone take it from me. But you are not even using it. You're a fisherman. What use would you have for a sheep fold? That is none of your business. I will do as I please with my property, and I will do what I must to protect it from raiders. Um, wow, that seems unreasonable. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do some fishing. Mm. 
Nice. We got a perch. We need a carp. I won't lie. We got we got a pike. That's cool. We need a carp though. Yo, we got a carp. We can make we can make carp food. Do I have any more? There's no more fish to collect here. Okay, uh, let's talk to this dude. What's it to you if I use that sheepfold or not? That has nothing to do with it. That pile of rubble is mine. That woman has no right to stay there and is making a fuss. I'll pay you handsomely if you make her leave. Threaten. We will gain quite a bit of um, unfortunate reputation here if I uh, let this go. Uh, reward promised. Fly? I don't know. Oh, I guess that's maybe some kind of uh, fishing thing. Bribe, we don't have enough money for that. I'm gonna threaten them and this will put us on a uh, potentially dangerous path. Come now, no need to get so upset. They can keep that old pile of rubble. So we're now on, we don't have a wanted level just yet. Uh, the higher your wanted level, the more frequent the guards patrols will be. You're not currently wanted by the guard. So we can afford to make a decision like that as long as maybe we can work off our wanted level a little bit. Yeah, has he accepted? Oh, blessed be the all-seeing eye. You cannot imagine what this new home means for the three of us. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. So we got medallion. The fate of Tiltron. Thanks to you, the refugees can stay in the sheepfold. I have to go. I must tell my parents the wonderful news. They will be thrilled. Nice. Any more fishing to do here? Or is it still... No, nah, it's, it's done. Okay. Do you have anything you can sell us? What now? Okay, no. All right. Well, that was a fairly easy quest. Uh, we're kind of headed in the wrong direction right now, but there is an exclamation mark here. So um, let's let's go ahead and do that real quick. My daughter told me everything. I know what you did for us, and I will never forget it. I am terribly sorry to have to ask you, ask after all you've done for us, but we still need materials. Yeah, you still need ten wood, huh? Okay. Thanks to you, we now have a roof over our heads. This is more than we hoped for when we fled Edoran. Okay. I don't know why there's an exclamation mark here. I guess it's because um, there's still some stuff to do here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go and collect this some of these resources. I do I'm at, I'm like behind on paying my wages unfortunately. It could um could could uh, end up creating a problem for me in the future. I I bought too much like groceries. Uh, why why are we not moving? Okay. So there's a some kind of thing to do there. I don't necessarily want to do it yet, unless I like get the quest or something. I'm just gonna stay um, on task and and do our current uh, quest. I definitely I need to figure out uh, apothecary, because we have um we have an apothecarist, but I'm not sure what they can do yet. Uh, I guess it would be in knowledge on apothecary table. So we can make an incendiary flask. We could make a hand bomblet. We can make medicine. We need snow iris for that. I, I guess that's what I've been like trying to find is snow iris. We've got so much of these plants, but we can't use them at all. Training grounds, the brotherhood. Interesting. If one of your companions doesn't carry their weight, don't be afraid to change their specialization or teach them new skills. We can help you with that for a price. Upgrade. Uh, we can upgrade things in our inventory. Weapon upgrade. What, how does this work? It's like... Uh, can we like upgrade our hammer? No. I don't know. I don't know how this works yet.
Skill mastery contains knowledge that will allow one of your companions to upgrade one of their class skills. Manual aim contains knowledge that will allow one of your companions to learn the new skill. These are very expensive for good reason. First aid, wrath, taunt. I know, uh, I know a few of these. I, I keep th that steel button should not be so prominent. I think. I feel like there should be a better way of, of displaying that. Okay, we're still headed. Um, I guess we're, I don't know if we're headed in the right direction, but we're going in this direction. We only have one day's worth of food, so we're going to have to do some hunting, maybe. I'm hoping there's like snow iris up here. Is that snow iris right there? It is snow iris. Yo, we can actually make some potions now. Healing potions, uh, no less. I'm hearing wolves. That's actually fine. Let's fight some wolves. There's six of them. Um, we'll be able to get some food from from hunting them. If only we could cook the the, the meat up. I'm not sure what's up with that. Grand oaf. Um, let's put grand oaf and cactus over here, and engage on them from this side, and then we'll have Mimi hit these two wolves, and uh, obviously we want Porlay to come in as well. I guess, yeah, this is fine. This this is good. So let's go, um, actually, you know what? Let's have Mimi on this side. Because then she can engage two at once. Oh, right. I forgot about the, her relentless charge. Deals five damage to all units in their path and applies slowdown. Um, there's a, there's something to be said about doing this. I forget how, how far does that go? I could do five damage to like all of them. Which is kind of cool. No, only two of them, actually. There we go. Can we also... We can also bash both of them. Uh, no, we can't. We're, we're just out of range. That's a shame. But we can taunt. Um, I was hoping we could taunt the other one. We'll save that for now. Oh, there's more wolves over here that I did not notice. That's fine. We're just going to run in and uh, try and take out a couple of these wolves first. So we're going to engage that wolf and then we should be able to probably kill them with parlay. Oh no. Okay, yeah, that's that's why we have the Grand Oaf in the front there. Ouch. These are pretty a little bit tougher wolves. Um so we're engaged there. Let's let's see, can we get Porlay? Yeah, we can get Porlay around here and um do some damage. Not no crit, unfortunately. But we did um we did poison. Wrath deals 7 damage to the target if they have less than 50%. Okay, let's do that and we'll kill this wolf. And then uh, we can also throw an axe at this one. Let, let's, let, as I say, let's save the axes for now. And then it's just a, a Reno. Reno may be able to get a kill here. Uh, probably not, actually. And he's got a 24% chance of hitting Porlay. Let's not take that. 100% chance of hitting this wolf is pretty good. 10 damage, that's that's actually really nice. These wolves are making their way. It would be really nice if they uh, landed in that trap. Uh, I'm going to taunt this wolf. And then just smack him. So they do less damage. These wolves. Well, I should be able to take out the wolves I've got on this side before those ones make their way over here. Okay, did not manage to kill it. Um, surprised we don't have another point because uh, I thought I got a, uh, I got a valor point for being near a wolf without being engaged with it. We try and kill it with the axe, but it only does two to three, so I don't think that'll actually work. Now they got a valor point. 
Yo, they actually got hit by the trap. That was nice. Um, all right. Who's who's next in the turn order? Okay, one of the other wolves. That's fine. So let's go ahead and we're not. Our dude is not. Grandoff is not able to really kill these. Um, he doesn't have very much stopping power. We need to get him a better weapon. Oh, okay. They're getting kind of close. Okay. Wolf down. And we'll have him move up. Then Mimesis is going to come up and engage. We're going to create a, a pretty nice choke point here. Mimesis doesn't do very much damage against the wolves, ironically, because uh, they don't have any armor. If I can kill this wolf with Reno right now, um, then I would get a Valor point. Ah, just barely. I know it said six damage, but I was hoping that he would get a crit. Oh, ouch. Uh, okay, I thought she Mimesis took a lot more damage than she did. I, it looked like she took like all of her health in damage, but that's that's she didn't. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to kill this wolf with Reno. So that he gets that valor point, he can use that to to heal someone. I'll see if I can't use uh like heal. Um. Heal uh, Mimesis. Before the battle is over. Okay, we've got Cactus. Can we use someone else first though? Yeah, we can. So let's go run over here and hit this wolf. We got that surrounded trait. He did some really good damage. He can actually kill the wolf. Let's go ahead and do that. I know uh, that means that he, he doesn't gain the extra valor for standing next to something, but that's fine. I'd rather um, he, I'd rather take a blow to our valor points than have to endure another wolf attack. Some nice damage from Cactus. If I could move Mimesis up a bit, I should be able to attack both of these wolves at once. There we go. Oh, nine each. Yo, that was really nice. Okay, she's bleeding. That's not good. Can we get uh, Andrino over there? No, he's already had his turn. And unfortunately, um, Grand Oaf is not going to be able to make it. Okay, now we can use Drino. Drino is going to run up. Oh, everyone's in the way. Everyone is exactly in the way. Okay, so never mind. Let's let's move Grand Oaf first. Oh my God, he can't like really get out of the way. Let's move, let's move Porle. I think that that'll help. God, okay, yeah, I can't, I can't really move anyone out of the way. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use that. I, I, I need to, let's, let's move him. I don't care. We'll use an axe and uh, kill this wolf. That'll be his turn. And now Drino should be able to walk up. Still can't get to Mimesis. Oh my god. I really want to uh, get him to heal her. I'll just have to move. Uh... Man, that means the wolf is going to get an extra turn. This is like really suboptimal play right now. I'd rather just attack the wolf. Yeah, uh, Mimesis is not doing well right now. Okay, now Drino can get up and actually heal. Surround and engage enemy unit with two allies to get a bonus. Oh, I didn't know that. So su surrounding an ally actually gives them a bonus. For some reason, uh, Drino can't actually use the uh, ability though. But he can shoot the wolf, so that's something. And he did kill it. So ironically, if only we, we got an extra round, we got to do some stuff. 
but well, that's fine. We can use a th uh, a thing to heal. We've we've got some medicine. We can we can heal everyone, and uh, we'll pick up all the stuff. We now have a bit more food. We should make camp. We can also um, cook that fish. I'm actually really kind of excited about that. I wonder if there's a cooking mini game. Let's cook the fish. Craft wants to reveal a new recipe in the compendium. Nope, no cooking mini game. Dang. Dang. So we did get a knowledge point though. Um, what could we make? Camp, cr uh, camp chest. Launder the items stolen during rest little by little. Oh, we could have a thief in the future. Saddle bags. Harness, uh, harness to an a animal. These bags can distribute the weight of a load. Tent. If we had more cloth and rope. Assigned companion generates one valor extra for each rest. Interesting. Some good stuff here. Pitten. When driven into a rock, this spike can be used to hang a rope and descend from steep heights. There's some really cool stuff in this game. Um, let's see what we could maybe craft from the... Um, we could make some sickles. Round plated roundel. Iron iron plated roundel. Level two required. Um, this is not a bad idea. Cooking pot. We could learn some more recipes. I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. Uh, we do have enough stuff right now to make a to make medicine, but I have to be at an apothecary's workshop. Um, I kind of want to learn. I'm sure that the saddlebags will require, um, well, we, if we can make them now, we should, we, we should. Okay, let, we can actually make them. Let's make saddlebags. We'll make some saddlebags. Craft saddlebags. Yes. And that gained us more knowledge points. So it's actually, I think, a viable, um thing to do in this game is like take uh take a, a recipe that you can actually make so that you can uh you know get some more knowledge and kind of combo your stuff together the spearmen in this game are really interesting too because they're melee with a bit of range and they push around people with their attacks that is really cool unlock thief by clicking steal at a shop don't worry you won't actually steal right away it just changes to steal mode oh thank you that's a that's a really good tip um, poor Lay has leveled up. You can give him Cutthroat. Deal two to three damage. It costs two Valor. Ambush. Performs two additional attacks. Ambush. Triggered when this unit attacks an engaged unit from behind. Strategist. Um, forces enemies engaged in the area to disengage. They incur an attack of opportunity from their opponent. That would be good because then we could start incurring attacks of opportunity and, and that will um, earn us extra points and titles and stuff. Applies three poison to all units in the area. Loses 5% of their maximum health at the end of their turn. Stackable. Oh, that sounds really good. Uh, I kind of really want that, actually. Let's do that. That makes poor Lay like an area of attack like damage nut. Um, we could give them extra movement. It looks like we can't increase their willpower or critical um, attacks. We could give them more constitution. Oh, uh, giving them de de dexterity will actually increase the damage they do. So let's do that. We should have, uh, what we should have done is actually, well, okay, tinkering gives him critical hit. So that's, you know, I've done a lot for Parlay for, for giving him critical hits. That's why he's been doing so stupidly well. Um, from that perspective um, Okay, so we got some cooked fish uh, We'll we'll eat some animal remains um, We can eat a perch Wait if you're if you rest now your troop will be unhappy. That's because we don't have we're not uh, Consuming enough food there we go rest a uh, danger level is average right now pay 58 you will pay part part of your troop, troops' wages. Some companions will be dissatisfied by this. Uh, all right, we'll cancel for now. Oh, okay, so I have to do that. 
Um, so we probably lose a little bit of satisfaction. I, I will, I, I would kind of wish to pay the rest. Your companions are not happy with the wage delays. Your troops happiness is 15. Well, we've got some happiness to spare, so we're okay by that. Experience gained in combat increased by 15%. Unlock thief. Okay. So, um, active. Um, it, it, are there more things that we can make here right now? Oh, we could make a, we should make some more lock picks. Oh, uh, actually fish hooks as well. I have one lock pick. Okay, that's fine. Let's make another fish hook. For for fishing, you know. So nothing happened during the night. Oh, we have, uh, I think, those are uh, potentially dangerous raiders. We can't really negotiate. We have to fight them. Um... 10% block This uh, this uh, I think we should be fine Let's uh, group everyone up a little bit Actually poor light can be on the outside there. That's fine So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move um, Mimesis first What I would like to do is I'm gonna move here and then bull rush through this guy and then engage the other guy. Nice. Um, and uh, we can also taunt. We'll taunt this guy. I should have taunted this raider first. Because he's the next to move. Targeting. What does that mean? I can only imagine that does not mean something good. Um, well, we can just shoot him for now. Uh, what I'd like to do is poison him next. These guys are moving over. This person has a big, big hammer. Oh no, targeting. Okay, so we need to maybe move away. Let's actually, I'll move over here and uh, we can, we can uh, start to surround these guys a little bit. Make sure I'm not in the range of that attack. Who's next? Someone else. This guy's got throwing axes. Um, I definitely want to move Cactus away because he's the only one over there now. I wish I could, I had the ability to like sprint double movement. Uh, a lot of games will like tend to let that let you do that you have a double movement at the cost of your main action it's also a very D, &D thing uh kind of want to save our poison although i'm sorry our, our our poison vial but it is only one valor so we'll we'll earn the the, the valor we need for that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move over here and i'll uh, attack this guy but we'll also earn a valor point you can also throw uh, an axe. Let's throw an axe at this guy. Valor. Okay, yeah, that's that's the thing that. Yeah, he earns one valor. So uh, hopefully, what'll happen is, um, did Mimi just get poisoned again? No, the henchman's poisoned. Okay, uh, these guys are gonna move over here, and then hopefully Parlay will be in a position where he can poison everyone at once. So we're gonna have him move last. Also, everyone's in range right now. No, Porlay is not in range. So let's move Por um, Cactus up a bit, and then everyone will be in range for a nice tasty buff. Cactus is going to buff everyone. And we're just going to smack this dude. We really don't want them to be able to do what they're about to do, whatever that is. So this person aimed... Um, I, I don't know what this targeting does. I, I guess maybe I can... Okay, what is this? This unit is readying a skill that cannot start any other action or become engaged in combat. Okay. I guess that hurts me a little bit because I, um, Parlay tends to gain bonuses against, uh, uh, you know, engaged units. But that's fine. 
but I'm pretty sure that also means that I can move freely out of these, um, out of the out of these zones, and they can't they don't get attacks of opportunity. Yeah, that's what that means. And this guy is surrounded now. So um, honestly, that targeting ability sounds kind of bad for them. Who's next? This guy. They're probably gonna n just move. Oh, they're going to move towards Drino. That was a mistake. Oh, no, never mind. He got to throw an axe, so that's fine. That's uh, We had extra protection, so that's that's good. Let's move them. Uh, if I could kill this henchman here, that would actually be great. 80% chance. Ah, oh, damn it. We hit Mimi. I had to take the chance because if um, Drino can, can take the shot, then he'll get some valor. Damn it. Tough break there. Sometimes it just happens that way. So I think we're in a good position now to uh, maybe use uh, Porlay's ability. Where is his Valor? Yo, is Valor spent amongst everyone? I thought that everyone had their own Valor. Do you only... Oh, okay, I guess I've been wrong about that this whole time. So you... Uh, everyone earns Valor, but the Valor is spent... Um, like, it's it's a shared pool. Did not know that. I did not know that. Wish this game made Valor clear. Valor is shared, yes. Um, I, I, you know, I... I'm not going to make excuses, um... But I am going to say that you know, I tend to miss things like this. So I, I will say it probably... Um, I, I, I just missed it. But I do think I was also making that mistake last time. Yo, freaking Parlay got two kills this round. Uh, we don't want to do that because then she's in range of whatever that attack is. Um, I don't think there's much she can do right now, unfortunately. So we'll just, you know... Have her hold back. Oh, wait, no, never mind. She can move over to this lad over here. And make an attack. Also, the valor you get from resting carries over between battles. The valor you earn during battle doesn't. They're slightly different colored. They need to be very different colored because that is something I really didn't know. And that was the thing. is like when valor, um, you'll regain some of these each time you rest. Use your Valor points in combat to use certain skills. But from the, the Valor you gain in combat is with it, is for that combat. Like you don't, you can't save it, right? Uh, and so I always thought that I had to spend my Valor I I as much as I could. But apparently not. Apparently there's Valor, there's two types of Valor. That's very strange. Um, I don't dislike that mechanic. I do you think that it should be communicated a little bit better? Uh, I wish I'd known that because then I would have saved one Valor for Parlay to do his his poison attack. Because that was, you know, that's that's unfortunate. Um, I need uh, I need more ways to gain Valor because right now the only ways I have are to get kills as um drino and unfortunately that's really difficult because he doesn't do very much damage i guess that's why he gets it you know if it was easy then i would be earning valor much more quickly but in uh like comparison Porlay just has to end a turn next to an enemy that he's not engaged with which really feels uh a lot easier I'm going to go ahead and just end his turn there and gain one Valor. Um, and we... Well, okay, see, if I use this Encouragement, then it's going to spend that Valor. So now I know a bit better not to, not to, when not to spend. I'm going to move over here and we'll support Mimi. That'll give her a bit more um, protection, hopefully. This uh, These guys with their targeting ability have really not been able to do much this entire game. Um, okay, so I really want to see Porlay. Okay, Porlay can't do do anything right now. Um, 
who is it just grand oaf right now it's just grand oaf okay so let's move over here and and swipe at this guy actually can we we'll move a little bit like that and that way um I, and i do appreciate that it tells me like when i can and cannot attack a, a, an enemy because now um Porle can finally do his potion vial oh it's gonna hit everyone i thought it would only hit baddies <laughs> oh no uh, okay, so he just straight up can't do that. So instead, I'm just going to kill this guy with the wrath. And then we're going to see if we can't do some more damage. Um, if I attack this henchman, then I'm going to engage with that henchman. And uh, that will be bad because then Porle will be engaged. So instead, I'm just going to... Hmm, I, I messed this up completely. All right, well, we'll just attack him. That's fine. Like, it, it's still a ridiculous amount of damage that Porle does. This raider is about to do some, some damage, and um, I don't necessarily want that. So I am going to move at least Mimi out of the way. Unfortunately, I can't move everyone out of the way. I was hoping to kill this guy before he got to attack and I still can but so she's finally gonna get to do something she only did four damage after all of that after like so many turns of targeting the, the best she can do is four damage that is unfortunate so let's uh, hit this character I uh, would love to kill you know what I would, can we kill 79% if I could get a better angle, maybe we can get that, bump that up to 81. Okay. 81? Yo! There we go. Um, <clears throat> he could possibly heal someone. Who could use healing? Mm, eh, we, he can't actually move to anyone right now. So instead, we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, well, we don't have to use it right now. Because I can just move out of the way of this attack. Uh, this is the problem with having very big heavy weapons, I think, sometimes. Uh, is that sometimes, uh, by the time you've attacked, um, the enemy has just kind of walked out of the way. If you mouse over the temporary Valor, it will tell you... I agree, it took a while for me to realize, too. My build was mostly spearmen with archers behind, all gaining Valor when they end turn next to an ally, which was almost every turn. Wow, that sounds really good. So I don't have enough um, raw materials to repair everyone, unfortunately. We did get a freaking crazy hammer, so this will be good for uh, for Mimesis. Uh Damaged armor. I do want to um, repair Mimesis' armor, so we'll just repair hers. We can't do... Well, we can do uh, Cactus as well. I guess it when it says repair all... Some people have slightly damaged armor. Grand Oaf has uh, leveled up. So let's see what he gets. Encouragement the unit and all allies in the area gain protection. Uh, deals 5 to 7 damage to the target and applies destabilization. Lacerations deals 5 damage to all units in the area two times. I wish uh, maybe we could get some more um, like uh, abilities that earn Valor instead of just spending it. It looks like we will on at level three. Okay, so we'll take protection is pretty good, but I want to take something else. Uh, let's take destabilizing strike because it only costs the one valor, and uh, it's something something else. You know, anything else? Uh, we could add some more constitution. Let's do some more constitution for Grand Oaf. Uh, Mimi is gonna get a freaking giant hammer. Strength plus two, ram skill. That's what our rusty two-handed hammer is giving us. Versus strength plus four, no ram skill, but coup de grace. Coup de grace is, targets an area, deals 13 damage to all units in the area at the start of the next turn. Oh, so this is what they were doing. Um, or if the opponent disengages. Oh, wait, no, it's... I don't know why they weren't doing this, because it... It's an attack that goes off if they if they leave. We did it plus new hammer. We did it. We did indeed do it plus new hammer. 
The, the unit gains deflection if they are engaged in combat. No, we want something that gains a valor. Every time an attack hits several enemies, you gain one. This sounds perfect. Every time this unit engages in combat, you gain one valor. This is also pretty good, but I actually kind of like this valorous chain, and it encourages us to use that more often. Um, I'm going to give Mimesy some more constitution since she's definitely always up in up in the in the grill of the enemy kind of want to uh, cannibalization cannibalism is starting to sound pretty good i won't lie um so we're looking for tomb of the ancients i don't think that we're gonna make it in time um so i kind of need to just bail on this right now like i only have one day's worth of travel i wish uh maybe it would show us like if i did like maybe it would tell us like one day's travel sometimes they'll do that but i guess if we're like running like this then uh you know it might be less travel time uh i'm gonna head back to the village we 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 need money um maybe we could do this one up here since it's easier and it's also a lot less searching. Enemy two-handers are kind of harmless. Yeah, unlike Mimi. <laughs> Mimi has a big hammer and uses it well. I uh, Guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit concerned for our well-being. Because I, I don't have enough money to pay us. And I don't have any, like... I don't have... I don't, I'm running out of food. So people's happiness is going to start to drop off. I got some comfrey. We have we have enough comfrey, I think. This is the kind of uh, these are the kind of stories that uh, make this game interesting. Is that the thing I'm trying to intervene with? Unaware of the danger they face, a handful of Enduranians have gone hunting. This might be what I'm looking for. No, I can attack them if I want. I don't really want to attack them. It could be that they're in the forest. No, we're outside of the zone right now. I don't know. Are these are these the lads? We came to hunt for food for our families, but the animals here, they are, their calls are enough to make their your hands stand on end. I'm beginning to wonder if we did the right thing coming here. But now that we're here, we can't go back. Persuade. Reward promise three rope. Use 20 reputation? Sure. I see. Thank you for warning us. We were venturing into unknown territory. Thanks to you, we'll get back to our family safe and sound. We get three rope. You've just completed the mission help requested amateur hunters report. Um, is that more? I wouldn't mind getting that snow iris. We're going to have to push forward a little bit um, because I don't really have enough money to pay. Actually, I do. I guess I get the money right away. No, I don't get the money right away. I, I, it tells me that I have uh, 130 funds waiting for me, but I have to get back to that village first. So herein lies uh, some of the danger a little bit. The day seems almost over. It is almost over. We can't run right now. We have to push forward a little bit. How come we can't? They're they're moving so slowly. Also, what is this medallion? Willpower. Who should this go to? Who is using? I think willpower is um. Uh, critical. Also increases the critical hit. Uses to boost boost the tro a troops' morale in combat. It's too bad that poor lay um. It doesn't have any morale boosting stuff, but they do have a ridiculous like chance to crit. Uh, maybe we should give this to someone who does a morale bonus. Um, I don't know who that is, to be honest. We we have to we have to keep moving. Don't let their bar fill up. Well, the problem. Okay, let's we'll make camp. Can we make any? Food? Probably not. No, we don't have the means to make any food. 
All right, let's just uh, eat what we can. Oh, we're actually good. Uh, we're actually better than I thought. We don't have any money. That's fine. Just eat some snow, I guess. They're not happy with me right now. That's fine. That's going to have to be fine. Okay, so we have to get to uh, Strom Cap. I gotta get the Strom Cap before there's a mutiny. Lads, who should get um, the medallion? Pay them with exposure <laughs> to the to the the cold. All right, lads, time to strip. What are you talking? Why? What do you mean? Take your clothes off. I'm gonna pay you an exposure. <laughs> this seems this seems uh, not not okay. Yeah, but think of uh, think of the exposure. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna be so famous after this. I thought Parlay was a morale booster, or is it only in battle? Uh, no, Parlay is just like damage dealer. Um, it's like Cactus, I think. Um, does some, has some, uh, skills to, yeah, encouragement. So, poor, uh, Cactus has a uh, encouragement, and it might be also Grand Oaf. Grand Oaf also has protection and taunt. Okay, so, uh, I think uh, Cactus should get the medallion. I don't know where it goes. Where, where does this go? Is it here? Yeah, okay. It should, like, highlight the bar. Um, alright, so let's hand in our quest. Oh, Town Hall. Whoops. Wrong one. Might you be looking for work or roll? Okay, yeah. Collect bounty. Uh, we need more quests. Free Pedra Mountain Mine. Okay, that's we actually passed by that one, so I know where that is. And also bring this message to the informant in uh, Corsia. I don't know. Is there like a time limit on these at all? Rumor has it that there's an unexplored tomb of the ancients in this region. Would really like to do that, um, but we're gonna need more time on that. Uh, I definitely need to buy some more food. I need to pay our wages like now, but I'm gonna need oh, you know what? Let's make some potions. That, that'll be good um, Craft We could maybe earn some more stuff we can make three medicine. Let's make three medicine 30 experience and we gain some extra wisdom We unfortunately didn't get a, a, a knowledge point, but that's okay. Um, let's buy some food. I thought poor late. No, no I pay them with literal exposure. Just eat some snow Can we buy oh we have some carp we can buy carp here perfect um, I'll make sure that I keep a bit of um, We'll buy two salt and then we have enough to pay our wages. I'll, I'll click the steel just to um, learn about thieving and We'll gain a thief in the future Okay, so we have enough um, to make some food, and we also have enough um, to pay our wages. So that is all good. Are we, do we have a skilled um, blacksmith yet? We can use the anvil. No, we don't. Okay. A shame. Uh, we don't have enough to repair also, like enough money. Let's depart. Um, well, we're going to try and complete a couple of quests. We're in a slightly desperate situation. Refugee leader awaits you in the haven. We we need uh we need to earn a bit more money a bit faster, so that we can get food and also pay our our dudes. He has the meats. Wondering why you're having such a hard time. Then I realize you haven't been borrowing stuff from people. Oh, so thievery is highly recommended, is what you're saying. Let's go to the fishery. I'm I'm playing um, 
I'm, I'm trying to play with a slightly high morale, a uh, uh, moral compass. Let's do some fishing. Is there no, there's no more fishing. Is it like once you've fished you, that location, you're just done? There's other locations though. Let's check those out real quick. What is that? Oh, we got some mushrooms. He has the meats. I like our merry gang of, of, of people. Henchman 3, Raiders 2, level 1. There are plenty of seemingly abandoned stuff like chests you can lockpick with a thief. Ah. We need a thief for um, accruing supplies. So Mimi's got new abilities and a new hammer. Um, this should be interesting. Kind of want to put Mimi in the middle a little bit. Poor lay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. So, coup de grace targets an area, deals 13 damage to all units in an area at the start of the next, uh, or if the opponent disengages. So, um, does that mean she has to be in combat with those enemies first? I'm gonna just, like, run her into battle. It seems to me that's the only way I can attack now. So she's targeting. Um, they, the, the, the good news is that the enemies tend not to disengage. So I don't know what that is. I feel like, oh, there I had Grand Oaf over here and I didn't move him. Oh, that was really dumb. So they're targeting. Oh, no. You know what? I'm going to run... Crando around this merry-go-round a little bit it's it sucks because oh, you know what it's actually it might buy us a bit of time oh they he did disengage wow that's annoying it doesn't disengage until after she hits well that's really frustrating more like ran off that's really good <laughs> Build. Um, so I don't know what to do now, to be honest. Like, this guy's not even engaged, so now par poor lady isn't going to get anything. Uh, Mimi's, Mimi's attack isn't probably even going to go off, because this guy is going to move as well. I have to make sure that he doesn't move. That's what I have to do. So we're going to move uh, Cactus over here and engage with the Raider. So he's engaged, so he can't really move now. They're targeting me. That's actually fine. Eh, I'll just move over here and attack this guy. It's this, this that that was like the worst possible scenario. Mimi's a Mimi is in a disadvantage a little bit because her attack doesn't engage. She and she so she has to pull it off in order to engage. So what I have to do actually in order to use Mimi effectively now is I have to engage enemies with other characters before I push Mimi in and then she can use her attack because then they'll be engaged and they can't really disengage unless I they, they want to take an attack of opportunity. Let's see, can I use my... Um... No, I can't really. Okay. So what are you going to do? Oh no, you're going to like try and meet uh, Grand Ranoff. Grandoff? And then Drino is in quite the interesting situation of being like oh completely away from battle. Can oh we can't reach that guy and it's a 75% chance, so 25% chance to hit cactus. I'm just gonna end his turn. Oh you threw an axe, huh? A new round is starting. Okay, so there's gonna be uh that Ro another rock is going to 
land there. Um, if only I could get this henchman to come back around to where Mimi's attack was go going off. Let's move Parlay. Actually, no, we can't move Parlay because he's he's engaged now. That's the problem with uh, engaging with Parlay. We can disengage. That triggers an attack of opportunity. Deals 100% of the main aptitude, strength, or dexterity. I don't think I want to do that. Let's just do an attack. They're poisoned. Six damage. That's not okay. Okay, Mimi. Um, you're just going to have to commit. Um, but now you get to set up a new attack. So what we can do here is move you this way a little bit and then do... Oh, no. That was that was incorrect, actually. Uh, maybe like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's a bit better. A bit more of what we want to see. Um, we could try and set it up so Mimi gets a kill. Okay, uh, we could do like a destabilizing strike. Guard is reduced to zero. Uh, let's just like have him continue running. Your weapon choices really matter in this game though. Not just constant upgrading. Yeah, it's true. Like, you know, the, the switch from one type of hammer to a different one has me completely changing like how I approach a combat situation with, with Mimi. Which is really cool. Um, so we just... All we want to do is make sure that uh, Andrino doesn't get stomped on by a big rock. So this guy has also got throwing axes. Grando made the mistake of like running around these dudes that all have throwing axes. Okay, Mimi, go ahead and, and do your thing and we get... Wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! Mimi! Yo, calm down, Mimi. Damn. Sometimes you just, uh, you just set things up just, just right. Kick. Uh, disengage. Ouch. Run away. That was really dumb. I'm sorry. There's absolutely no reason for me to do that. Told you, mini clams. <laughs> Mimi, smush. Smush them into goo. Uh, Cactus has insane movement speed. So these guys are... They're not... Okay. Maybe there's a good reason to... Oh. Okay. I'm a little bit worried for uh, Gr Grandoff. His name, his name is now Grandoff. Oh, that guy choked him. Okay, so we take, we take an axe attack, but that's actually really good. This guy choked him off. So he couldn't, uh, he, he had to move all the way around him in order to get to Grandoff. That means we, he didn't engage Grandoff in, in combat. And now Grandoff can actually run away. He can do his namesake and, and his name, I have to change his name after this. It's Grandoff. It's, it's, it's Granoff. Why are you always killing my characters? Diamond Thorn, you're not even in this game. You had, I, I, I was... I was gonna, I was gonna make Grandoff Diamond Thorn, but you, but you did. What? No. 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 Okay, no, no, no. Mimi, we're all, we're, we're all reconvening. Grandoff was like, oh god. Where have you guys been? 
I've been like running around trying to trying to get stuff happening. I kicked the dude, and uh, you guys have been what? And Mimi's just like Mimi crush. Mimi do two things. Mimi fish and Mimi crush. Mimi scary. Thought I was Grand Oaf. <laughs> I thought uh, Grand Oaf was uh, was a fictional character. I I didn't realize. You're you're right. My bad. I honestly did. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job making sure that Grand Oaf was uh, was secure. Okay, um, we want to get Mimi in there. There's actually a really... Oh, she doesn't have the movement speed. But if we do a Relentless Charge, we could do a Relentless Charge and then she'll have, like, the perfect position, maybe. Like, right there. She might clip, um... No, we're good, actually. Oh, heck yeah, bud. Okay, I only want to do the one henchman because I want to try and catch both of them here. So here's here's the the catch We need to make it so that it is very inopportune for this henchman to try and get to the anyone else So we're gonna choke off this area and the best way to choke that area off is actually if we move poor lay poor lay is going to move like right here and Make this area impassable. He's then gonna surround this dude and also gain some extra valor for doing so so like very good um we could kill this henchman but we want mimi to get that extra um valor point for doing so so what i'll do is i'll, I'll just just end his turn get some extra valor could have killed that guy um and he we would have had le you know less damage um but you know sometimes it doesn't work out like that I'll run, uh, I'll run Cactus in and we're going to do an encouragement. How come we only have four characters? Oh, there's, there's Reno. Reno, uh, has, they need some extra movement speed, I think. Grand Oaf. What can you do? What can you do right now? Oh, you're engaged. Um, gain. I'm just gonna give you deflection. Who is this? Okay, uh, you're just gonna get deflection. You don't actually know. You're not gonna get deflection because this this man is not going to exist in the next turn. So he threw an axe. Oh, I moved one an ass. God damn. Damn it. <laughs> I could have just killed the dude, and instead I like. Did freaking mental jam uh, gymnastics to ensure that I didn't do anything and the dude just walks out of it. Um, oh Oh, heck yeah, bud Doing my work for me Doing my work for me Thank you for that dude All right, Mimi it's time to crush Absolutely destroy If she actually lands that hit she'll do 20 damage to this poor lad Oh, she could have hit this guy too. That was really dumb of me Uh, I, I that I have no excuse for that And now, uh, Vild is is um, engaged in this guy not Vild sorry poor lay Okay, well, he still did a ton of damage, so, you know. It's a, it kind of sucks. Like, Porlay is really, um, kind of screwed when he, um, gets engaged in combat. What we're going to do is come over here and, like, try and destroy this guy. There we go. Oh! Demoralize and flee. Do you want to let them go and win the battle? No. 
we gain we gain stuff if we don't do that. Let's go around here and surround this dude. Um, let's just do an encouragement. That's that's not valor I can keep. So, Mimi fish. <laughs> You want fresh fish? I give you good deal. Um, so she's got a coup de grace before she can coup de grace. I guess uh, Mimi, unfortunately, is is uh, has been made kind of redundant here a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and kill this lad. There we go. Done. We gained nothing from that. We have to spend a bunch of raw materials to repair all of our stuff, but we gained kind of nothing except experience. Must be said. We gained experience. Sometimes, uh, you know, the reward is the, the, the enemies we killed along the way. Deal 8 to 12 damage to the, the target, knocks them back by 2 meters, and applies slowdown for one round. That's interesting. I wonder if that also means that if they're knocked back, they take attacks of opportunity. Cannot be used if this unit is engaged in con- oh, okay, well that makes sense. Um, that's Drino, right? The target is forcibly, forcefully moved backwards. This is not necessarily very good for us. We, we actually want uh, enemies to stay rooted in place more than likely. All allied animals next to the target attack them with an attack of opportunity. <laughs> what is this weird move? Targets a specified area performs an attack of opportunity against the th the first the three first enemies crossing the area Could be really good, but it's very expensive valor wise um, I kind of wish I could just gain more ways of getting valor. I guess maybe hunter is the best one I don't see this being a thing that we really want all that often the, the beast master to be clear, the cannot be used if is engaged is for the archer. Can't use bow in melee. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Uh, carrying capacity, constitution, health. Let's give them more movement. They're really not great for movement right now. Um, Vild, actually, can you tell me something before I do this? Is this like plus plus mean that they gain extra points? And that is only for like this level like is it encouraging me to give them choose willpower here because then they'll give me a bonus point like i'm not sure what this plus plus means i love the ambush since it triggered some spearmen pushing people around you are correct so i i should i should pick willpower even though movement would benefit me probably more but I mean, that means that I, I, I become a bit more like uh, I do a bit more damage. Like I have a better chance to crit maybe. Um, but that means we have to do our positioning a little bit more. You get more points from picking the plus plus. That's why I like career plans. Let's you pick what you want. What do you mean by career plans? Please, please tell me about that. I'm not sure I know about that. Your companions can build relationships. The relationship between two companions ranging from hatred to love can evolve depending on their interactions. Yo, how do we get this going? This sounds really cool. So Cactus would gain uh, strength, and I think that that is just ideal. That is just ideal. Um, every time you an attack hits several enemies, this is actually not going to uh, benefit Cactus because he doesn't have a hammer. So we are actually going to take Valorous Duel. Um, that will gain us just passive Valor over time. Deflection is fine, but I need more ways of generating Valor rather than spending it. I have enough ways of spending it right now. Let's you change plus into plus plus. The knowledge thing, same place as running. Wait, what? Career plans. You can spend influence to add plus one to... Oh man, I should have taken this. That would have been so nice, and I, I just didn't understand the value of that. Oh, we need a miner. Oh, man. Can someone have two... 
Can someone have two professions or can they switch professions? It might be better for Mimi to be a miner. Mimi sees really wants to be a miner. I saw that I kid because you saw that there's a there is actually a chance here. We'll lose all experience gained as novice and angler novice. All right, let's do it. If you haven't earned any XP, you can change without losing anything. Okay. Well, she did gain a little bit of experience, but I think that probably having a miner is a bit more valuable right now. We oh, there is a mining mini game. I, I remember this. Not sure what I'm trying to... Okay, I'm trying to get it in the gray area. Oh, we got a ton from that. That was really nice. Oh, there's more. Yo. Oh. Oh. Nice. Excellent. Diggy dig. Putting those smashing skills to use. Yeah. Mimi now no third thing. <laughs> Mimi do three things now. Well, no, technically only still two, but you know. And this is great because we can really use this iron um, for both tinkering and um, both tinkering and uh, uh, blacksmithing. Is there any more? I'm really enjoying this mini game. There's no more. Okay, that's fine. We can uh, sell some of our surplus. We need to make camp. Um, I don't think we have enough food. Do we? Are we close enough to town? Wealthy. We need to go back to Strom Cap. Counting is not one of the three things Mimi knows. I forgot how to fish. <laughs> I know how to mine, but I forgot how to fish. You know, uh, fishing is kind of like mining, or mining is kind of like fishing. You know, uh, same motion. You uh, swing the rod, you swing the, the pick. It's all good. Okay, we're going to make camp. Um, unfortunately, our cook is not going to get as much stuff to cook with. Okay, we, we can make four grilled carp. Let's do that. That's right. I forgot. I, I, I bought those carps specifically to, uh, to get some more food. So we actually have tons of food. Carp, carp, carp. We also want to eat, uh, probably the wolf. I don't know if, um... Like, should I be... Does, does food spoil in this game? Is a, is a concern I have. You've gained 20 reputation. Have become more experienced. You are now a point... You can now appoint one of them as captain. Who wants to be captain? Looks like Mimesis has something to say. I dare say I am quite proud of myself. Some might even say that the troop can't do without me. Retell the story of this glorious battle again. We get some valor for the next combat. Uh, relive this feat of daring do. 58 experience, not bad. Um, or extra uh, happiness. Plus one relationship with close companions. Such valor deserves a celebration. Chat, uh, honestly, you know what? Mimesis, why don't you uh, tell me which one you'd like? Retell the story, daydream, or celebrate? Don't worry about the uh, benefit. Don't worry about min-maxing this. Just tell tell me what you'd like your character to do, and I'm happy with that. Fishing is kind of like mining, and that is exactly why Mimi is still a novice angler. <laughs> Please assign everyone to a place. Uh, Gandalf is just standing around. Oh, can I do that? Putting those smashing skills to use. 
friendship. So you want to celebrate? Yo. Mimi and Cactus relationship has improved. Uh, all right. How does, how does, uh, where, where can we put? Oh, we can just put Cactus. I didn't know you could like move them. Can we like move? We, we, I guess we, um, who is our resident cook? It's Grand Oaf. Is Grand, why should, Grand Oaf should be at the, at the cook, at the reduces daily food consumption. Wow, I've just been kind of sleeping on that, huh? How do I get that? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I've just been like totally sleeping on that extra benefit. Here, Boney, uh, Bill the Pony can, I, I just called him Boney. I just, uh, Bill the Pony can be at the fire. Also, Grand Oaf. Um, uh, Damathorin, are you okay with calling him Grand, uh, Grand uh, Ranoff? His name is Grand Off. How do you feel about this? I won't do it if you don't like it. Yo, friendship. Grand Oaf. His name started as Gandalf, and then it was it became Grand Oaf, and now it's Grand Off. And the other companions approve. <laughs> I love that it says that. Um, we can appoint a captain. Appoint captain, we get 50 reputation and plus three wages. I'll, I'll change it back if you don't like it, um, Demothorn. I Not to put it on you or anything like that. Um, who should I make the captain? I don't, I'm not even going to voice my opinion on this because I kind of want chat to decide. Oops. Yo, Granoff feels like a captain to me. <laughs> Mimi obviously should be captain, the only friendly and responsible one. We have been, uh, we have been playing very morally pure. It seems to me that um, without without Mimi, we we might have strayed from the path somewhat. Might you be looking for work? Our role as emissaries is to ensure that all service requests are fulfilled. Yeah, we'll collect it. Okay, do we have uh, new new bounties? We need to do these. Bring this message to the informant in Corsia. Can we make Bill the pony a captain? That's an interesting idea. Loot Bandit's lair is well guarded, but you will be paid handsomely to destroy it. Um, we'll save that for later. We could start thinking about hiring a new person, although um, I'm already kind of running into uh, money problems. So I don't know if that's necessarily what we want to do right now. Um, recipe apple pancake. We really need to find out where to get wheat from. Oh yeah, this guy will probably tell us some stuff. Um, someone needs help in the abandoned tower at least. That's what he's screaming out the window. Okay. We can take some extra quests. Captain of the guard is looking for mercenaries to help him bring a criminal to justice. So these are extra um, cool quests that we can take. Uh, they reward us not with the funds as much as uh, resources and also we're slowly filling up this um, long-term career quest Which I really like that. I like that the quest like we don't know what we're doing yet Like we we're just trying to make a name for ourselves for now We're just like kind of uh, roaming adventurers and then there's this little bit of a long-term plot that is bubbling in the background um, And I really like that So we have a ton of ore. Let's see if we can't make some new stuff um, we would need leather and wood, but we could make some more throwing axes. You, we have no throwing knives. I also have no throwing axes. Um, I thought I, did I not learn how to make the roundel? I guess I chose not the roundel. 
So let's make some throwing knives. I should be able to give that to, um, what's his face? Uh, Porlay. Porlay should be able to use those and we'll gain a little bit of wisdom for making these. Has become a blacksmith apprentice. Cactus has, has leveled up as a blacksmith. Um, well, we can make some more of those. I kind of want to hold back a little bit. Let's see if this guy will take him on yet. Looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. So I assume that we still can't do that. Let's go ahead and repair our stuff. Um, sell us coal. Can be used with iron to forge powerful weapons and armor. I assume later. Following Tiltern methods, your troop optimizes the use of repair materials. This might be good. Uh, we could also buy some raw materials. It might be nice because we, we have been getting our stuff damaged quite a bit. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel. Oh, you know what? We should also sell um, Mimi's old hammer. We could also sell throwing knives. Oh, well, we should sell these uh, damaged weapons. Yo, blacksmith. Um, I wonder, do they, does he gain an extra benefit from being an apprentice blacksmith? Strength plus two. Like, was it strength plus one before? Can learn blueprints and forge items at apprentice rank. Can learn blueprints and forge items. Oh, I see. Um, so we can we can make other things. Um, I kind of want to learn this career plans. Uh, that sounds really good. We it does mean we would be spending influence, and I I don't know that is a fairly valuable resource, but I I just think that it it is probably a really good idea. These are uh, general knowledge things. You've reached two in the mysteries and wisdom path. Oh my god, lots of things happening right now. Goodbye, Mr. Old Rusty. <laughs> Rusty served us well. I, 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 we enjoyed. Rusty did a good job. Um, I'll, I'll make a couple more throwing. I'll th make one more throwing knives. I'm hoping that those will work on poor lay. let's see he's got throwing axe right now let's give him can we know okay cool he can take throwing knives and critical hit plus three these apply to bleeding which is kind of cool but these have a plus three to critical hit which is amazing for poor lay. they also do a lot more damage look at that two to seven damage these did two to three Two to set from two to three to two to seven, and these are I would argue are easier to make in some ways. Can we make Bill the captain? Yo, we can. Bill's the captain. Bill is the all hail Captain Bill the pony. Uh, torch is also decent. Um, I don't know if anyone can wield the torch is the thing. No one can. I'm going to go ahead and sell, um, sell our last throwing axe. Bill is great. Uh, I'm going to buy a bit more carp. Just to make sure we have enough, we don't have enough to make uh, any more potions. Making potions in this game is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you do need quite a lot of stuff. Let's see what we can make. Let's see like what we're missing. Like I'd like to make hand bomblets. We need alizarian powder. Hello? Hello? Oh, you found a toy. Yo, hold on a second. Cat found a toy. Give me a second. What? Yeah, you found a toy. Yo. Come here. Come here. Go. Go get it. Yo. You're lazy. Goddamn. 
uh cat <laughs> we've been we so my cat has the weird ability of losing toys instantly like his favorite toy is um without a doubt the a, a bottle cap uh, like you know the little plastic bottle caps when you get them from like coke bottles or whatever he loves those loves them to death and he'll play with them for exactly 0 0.3 seconds <laughs> because that's how long it takes him to lose said bottle cap um many people poison themselves when trying to use this type of poison offhand infected blood how do we get infected blood but anyway the fact that he found a toy and actually he, he'll like bring it to you like once once you if you have like if you find like a fluffy toy for him he'll bring it to you and uh like drop it and and you know like he'll and like he'll meow when he as he has the toy in his mouth like coming to you so hence why you're hearing these kind of that's what he's doing right now oh he, he brought it back he brought he brought it back Come here. Oh. go get it he's not he's not running he's not running after the toy right now Poorly should be able to wield it. It's just an offhand weapon like the knives. Mm, but then I don't get the knives. The knives are pretty good. Uh, I guess I sold the torch. I can make another one later. So what do you have? Um, I already looked at what you have and I don't don't really care. Uh, let me see if, if I can buy some more carp and salt. That would be ideal. We'll buy... Or salt. Actually, let's. I'm gonna start to stock up because I want to make a journey to that dungeon. Do you have some salt? Some carp? Uh, you do. Nice. Price temporarily reduced. We should stock up. I'm just gonna buy all of it. I know that's a lot of carp, but it's really ideal for us because um, we can turn all of this into really good food for a pretty good price. And we should have enough food now um, to to make it to that dungeon. Also, chat, um, it's it's we're at the three hour mark. Do you want me to switch to something else? I'm like totally happy to continue with this, but um, you know, I I there I, I wanted to maybe tease the next game that's gonna take the second segment, and um, also I maybe we can play through Creeks. I am I am like super enjoying this, but you know I I also um, want to keep in mind what to, what y'all want. I, I was thinking like we could try and um, do this tomb before we call it. I only just tuned in so I'm fine with this. Okay. Well, we, we, that's, you know, we've got, we, we, I'm indifferent. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's try and find the tomb and then maybe we'll call it there. More into this than creeks, but either is fine. Okay, well, that's enough. That's like that's all of chat saying we're we're fine with this. So let's let's continue with this for now. What is that? We're actually like starting to turn this around a little bit. Um, I am gonna before the stream ends. I will show off. Uh, what I have planned for second segment because I, I kind of I bought it on a whim and uh, it looks like it'll be a lot of fun should be it should be interesting I think it's like the perfect stream game although I think honestly War Tales and stuff like Door Fortress is kind of perfect stream game I, I really like this game. Like, it, it kind of covers the ground. Like, all of... It checks all of the boxes for me in a very satisfying way. It's got enough sandbox in it. It's... You're guided, but not too guided. Oh, okay, that looks like what we need over there. Yeah, Tiltron Tomb. 
So it looks like we have to go west a little bit through the forest. You have 81 wages to pay. But first we have iron to mine with good mimesis. Um, it looks like I can't get there from here. What is that? That looks like it could be dangerous. Not sure how to get up to that cliff face. Maybe I don't need to. Oh, okay, we don't need to. Never mind, the entrance is not up. It's not elevated. You have just completed the mission to locate Tomb of the Ancients. Report to an emissary to claim your reward. Well, yeah, but we got We want to check out the the uh, temple. Who's this, Lorian? Lorlin. Pretending to be scholars exploring the tomb, are we mercenaries? Steal yourselves. People often go missing in there. You have some cloth. I'll buy your cloth. And I'll also buy a torch. The torches are also plus three critical and they're plus five vision. Um, deals 30 to 50% damage to all units in the area and applies burning. Yeah, you're right, Vild. The, the torches are actually really nice. Uh, I shouldn't have bought that, though, because I now I'm out of m uh, money a little bit. Can we sell some stuff to make back some money? Oh, we can sell some wolf. I want to make sure I have at least enough to pay wages. Um, sell one mushroom. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's check out this tomb. You will need torches to light your way as you explore tombs. If your tor light dies out, your troop will panic and flee the tomb. So how much light do we have right now? We have 12 light. So this is an entirely new um, kind of set of mechanics here. What the heck is this? Oh my god. I should be making a note of which direction I went. So I, let's call this north. So we'll go north and then we'll go west. Stones of all sizes are strewn across the t corridor. They seem to have fallen from a ceiling obscured by dar darkness. You can run or advance cautiously. Let's let's run. A stone the size of an apple crashes down onto Bill's head. Head injury, no. How do I cure this? Reduced a willpower reduced by half. We could treat the injury. Use medicine to heal. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the Bill is the captain. I'm sorry, we, we have to do that. Oh, we have a, a map. Oh, we also have a marker here. I'm going to... Guys, remember, I, I have a little uh, a little book for making notes. It's good to have a little, a little nerd book for making notes. Um, you, you should always have a little, a little nerd lit book next to your, on your desk for making nerd notes. Versatile craftsman. Experience gained for each profession increased by 10%. We just learned of the scholar. Oh, we, we definitely need an extra person. Um, we, we gotta, we gotta figure out how to be a scholar. So we can't learn about this. We can't see this until we get in another member, I think. Um, we can explore one more thing before we take off. Reading is for nerds, so writing must make you a super nerd. Inspect this. Statue depicts a man called Dagan. <clears throat> Something about this, his posture makes you want to sing. We need a bard. <laughs> Yo, I, I hate to say it. I really hate to just inject my my BS uh, hyperfixation into this game, guys. But you know what this game kind of reminds me of a little bit? Just a little bit. The tiniest amount. Kind of reminds me of One Piece. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, I want to leave. I, I gotta leave. Your last torches died out. Your companions were hurt as they rushed out of the tomb and panic. Okay, so everyone is a little bit hurt right now. Um, okay, I, we should be able to make it back without um, too many problems. 
Oh God, he says as the wolves attack. And then the chuds came. Everyone's a little bit hurt and a little worse for wear. I kind of want to push forward just a little bit um, to get out of this nasty location. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I think we're going to have to make camp here. Okay. Everyone is not okay. Can we, uh, can we tinker anything up right now? Oh, we could have made some torches. That was stupid of me. I could have made torches. Um, we don't have an angler anymore, so no point in making hooks. We could make some pittance for later. I kind of just want to make some lock picks a little bit. Honestly, uh, oh, what are these? Lectern, a science scholar. Oh, if we get some more wood, we could potentially make a lectern, but we need to, oh, this is not what that's supposed to say. Uh, we need to be a higher level of something Strategy table high-ranking companion assigned generates one extra valor each rest um, If we could get some more cloth and leather we could make a tent We definitely want to make that so I'm gonna save my resources for now, but um, let's also cook some food I'm gonna cook all 10 of these. That's gonna generate a lot of XP. Not not really as much as I was hoping for, to be honest, but you know, it's just carp. We've already we already made carp. One booze. Pay everyone, rest. Maybe became tough though. Yeah. Oh, can they like can you get like scars in this game? You've gained two valor troop is well rested Companions are happy. You have gained 20 uh, reputation Let's let's get out of here You do get traits from doing related stuff. This is such a cool game. I know I've I've been saying it a lot today, but like I'm very uh I'm very glad I came back to this game. It's it's like it's so good. <laughs> I really hope um the, the the company keeps working on this one. I like I would buy DLC for this. Like even if they called this done and then did some more some DLC for it, I would be ecstatic. Um Okay, so let me see here. What can we do? Um well, let's let's uh acquire some more funds. Like being poisoned, you have a chance to get poison resist trait. Wow. All right, we get some money. Let's take some more quests. We still need to bring this to Corsia, which is a, a place I haven't even been in, been to yet. Um, this bandit's lair is kind of tempting. Wanted for a string of murders, Matthias Lund is a dangerous individual. Um, Vanquish Terror Frain Squad. Let's do that. Pretty much, I think I that was pretty much where I just was. Um, and I'm gonna take this bandit's lair, although it's probably not a good idea Do you have anything for us? I think I bought all of your quests uh, I'm gonna buy Some more brandy just a little bit and rest Your troop can recuperate and recover three valor. Do we uh does that also treat our injuries a little bit? What are some negative traits you want to avoid? I almost don't want to know. Like, if if Vild was able to tell us 
exactly how to avoid certain things i would actually rather not know um because you know that's i think you know like everything in this game unlocks trait maniac uh i think part of what makes this game interesting are like those traits even if they're negative create interesting situations so wait a minute reno has gained a, a trait we were just talking about this and now they've gained a trait Willpower reduced by five until their equipment is repaired. Uh, okay. So, yeah, there's a, there's a negative trait right now that we just earned. Let's go ahead and repair our trait, our, our equipment. We'll just use money for now. Uh, I thought I ho I thought that resting would mean that they would gain get um, treat their things, but maybe the apothecaries will help us. Yeah, heal. Oh, Sixty. Damn. Like I know I have medicine, but I'd rather just like use it. You know, the medicine is good for for using in combat and stuff, and at the end of combat. So, um, I I just like keep hanging by the the seat of our pants. Like, um difficult to to actually keep ahead of of the requirements of, of adventures and i need some new adventures like i need to gain a, get a scholar a scholar is going to be necessary and apparently a bard or a thief like there's a lot of professions that i need to kind of um have they still got old rusty they do i only played for a bit further than bimple is at now good to know I want to get some more uh, companions at the very least so that we can name them funny things. So we're going to do, uh, I might call, like, after this next couple of quests, I might call it then. Um, but we've got, we've got a, a, a bandit squad we have to take out and a fairly difficult camp we have to navigate. Let's see if we can't sneak up on these guys. Yeah. Terror refrain, the cheeky corporal. Ambush. Your companions have just ambushed their targets and will have an advantage. Fight them. Surprise. Let's see what surprise does. Damage taken increased by 10%. Um, there's one of them over there. Oh, we have our five companions here. Okay, so remember, we want to set up Mimi in such a way um, that we can, like, get uh, a crazy amount of damage. What I'm thinking here... Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to put Drino here. He's got this new recoil shot. I'm, what I'm thinking is I could use that to push these guys together and then run a, a Mimi in. Um, but I also want to engage them in combat. What I might do is have, I'm going to put Porlay. Oh, I don't want to put, put Porlay there. I might put Grandoff closer to here. I want to get him to engage, um, this raider in combat. He might get surrounded a little bit, but that's not, ter not a terrible idea. Um... So I'm going to use Drino to push this henchman forward uh, and then I'm going to engage them. Could have Porlay come in and also engage. And then we have Mimi and Mimi will, should, should, she should, yeah, she has enough movement to get in there. Okay, so this should work pretty okay. Who's the first combat? Okay, this raider. So that raider might have an extra chance. Um... That's fine. So uh, we're going to move Drino close to this trap. And then we're going to recoil shot this guy forward. Perfect. And that's given him slowdown. Um, then, yeah, then we'll end the turn. So they're targeting. That's fine. 
where when did these two guys move okay so they actually they're very late in the combat this is a very good thing so we're gonna have um grand off run in and engage this guy in combat So they're they're engaged in combat. Um, we could use some more valor. I don't, I want to be a bit more sparing with my valor. Oh, this guy's gonna attack from behind. That's actually oh two damage. That's nothing. Okay, never mind. Six damage. So unfortunately, they taunted. I think they taunted um, Grandoff, and that means that he's no longer engaged in combat. That's frustrating. Uh, we could use a poison veil, a vial, sorry. What I'd like to do is re-engage this guy, but I don't really want to do it with poor Lay. Um, I, I, think it, the, I think the plan got kind of ruined, honestly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move um, poor Lay up a little bit. And I want to poison, uh, I, I want to use this attack. I, I have not been able to use it even once. So I'm going to po poison these two lads. There's a bit of a frame loss there. And I'm also going to use some of these knives. Um, let's use it on this guy. I'm also going to probably like end our turn next to that guy. So that we gain the, the extra valor. We'll also attack them. They're also poisoned. Pretty good turn. Not bad. Love the cat sounds in the background. Yeah, the cat cat is very vocal. So what we're going to try and do is um, I'm going to try and do the Mimi smash, even though it's probably not going to work out. Wait, we can do taunt. Forces uh, target to engage and inflicts weakening. But we could, at the very least, taunt one of them. And we'll still be able to uh, hit both of them. That's if this guy doesn't move. He probably is going to move, though. Yep, there it is. That's, uh, that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> I, I, I understand that it's a difficult move to pull off, and it is a very good move. Like, if you can actually pull it off, it's great. But it's still really frustrating to, like, you know, try and set things up, and then uh, and then they just like, yeah, I'm just going to walk out of the way. One damage. They took two poison. I could somehow like move this guy back. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, this guy, at least, I mean, it, the, the, it's a blade that cuts both ways because I can just walk out of this guy's attack as well. And also we can use another poison flask. The, the poison stacks, remember. So they're going to be taking like six damage each now. We'll throw, throw a knife. Those those knives are pretty cheap. We gain some more valor. Um, okay, we kind of want to move Grandoff out of the way. If we can kill this dude, deals seven, 5 to 7 damage to the target and applies destabilization. That's fine. Let's attack and then we should be able to kill them. And then that means we can move out of the way, um, which we will. Um, yeah, let's just move them out of the way and then we'll end the turn there. Love the cat sound. The cat is, yeah, the cat's very vocal. I already said that. Well, we'll still do a lot of damage. Like Mimi, like just because we can't be optimal with every single attack, if we still pull that attack off, it's still very good. Um... 
The unfortunate thing here is that um, she's kind of stuck with this move. We could do like a relentless charge. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. We might actually kill one of them. Yeah! Go Mimi, go! <laughs> Mimi just never s ceases the destruction. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go over here and flank this guy and just engage them. Um, we could use his wrath and just kill them. So here's the hope. The hope is that this guy moves up to Mimi and then uh, she'll be able to do her attack on the next turn. Yeah, and that's exactly how that went down. We're just going to hit this guy on their own. Did Mimi just do the boys intro? <laughs> okay, the first thing we want to do is move Porlay. We're going to move him behind here and do an extra strike. Um, oh, no, that he wasn't engaged. I didn't realize that. Um, that's not good. That means that he's not going to gain the valor from ending the turn. Um, that's fine. We don't need to gain Valor every time. We're just going to do a normal attack. They're probably going to die before their turn is over. Probably not, actually. It, it, it's, like, highly bad to engage Porlay in combat. And basically every time. That's why I loved Spearman plus Archers, since the Archers have a skill that shoots at anything that moves. And spearmen shove enemies around, can also interrupt enemy moves if they try to run. Wow. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting at least one spearman. Maybe we can make, like, the bard or scholar a spearman. Like, I don't mind what we've got going on right now. It's, it's working well. Um, if I go here, then Mimi's gonna be able to hit... I'm going to hit our own ally. So let's just move him out of the way and then uh, strike from behind. There we go. In fact, we could kill him. I don't want to I don't want to use up that valor because that is a uh, like hard. We'll call it hard valor and soft valor because there's uh, the valor you earn in battle, which is soft. And then there's, you know, the uh, the valor that you you get from resting up. So I don't want to use too much of the the normal stuff. Um, we should be able to just kill this lad. Oh, we're, we're, not, we're not, we're not close enough. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, ouch. Of course, we could have had, uh, Drino kill them, and then we would have gained some, uh, some valor for doing that, so... We have a 76% chance of uh, hitting, so we don't really want to take that chance. I don't like those odds. Uh, Mimi is not going to be super useful here. Because um, her attack is going to take a full round to, to wind up. Can we... Yeah, okay, 100% chance. There we go. Oh my god! Yo, Reno with the crit. We got some armor. I wish they didn't put um, the corpses on on uh, us. It's fine. Continue. You've reached level two in the trade and wealth path. Bonus possibility to negotiate missions in the list of bounties. That's in our paths. Trade and wealth is level two. Um, level three, new mission. We're pretty close to getting to level 3 in Power and Might as well. We have 9 of 8 professions discovered, so we are versatile craftsmen. That's what that... Experience gained from each profession increased by 10%. So we actually gain extra bonuses for earning these titles. So they're not just good for gaining experience. They're also, like, um, you know, they they 
kind of put us on a oh man that uh i guess that makes sense it, it puts us on a path um it it kind of uh leads us by uh like letting us know what stuff is going to earn us um these points for for that specific um path but also these titles will gain us extra bonuses which is really ni nice loot all doesn't grab the corpses fyi good to know i didn't know that um we're not really close to earning any of these titles on uh, power and might but we are making progress on some of them so that was a quest achieved we might be able to get away with doing this this one over here although I, it's a little bit spicy bandits lair lair is a place teeming with enemies the more active skulls there are the more dangerous the lair is to reduce the number of enemies in a lair look for groups with a skull in the region eliminate them first to make your final assault easier okay let's uh that's a good idea let's cancel that then I like that. I like that there's a, you know, a multi multiple approaches to the same kind of thing. We need to find some of these bandits. Well, those are, oh, ghost wolves and a ghost boar. Oh no. I think I picked, picked a fight with the wrong crew here. Uh, this is the first, like, overtly fantasy thing that i've seen in this game it's been mostly just people and and normal animals but hey ghosts g -g 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 ghosts um where is mimi mimi is here we want mimi to be there uh what is this are they surprised what what are the those Oh, they, they're next on the combat. That's what that tells me. I'm a little bit concerned. I won't lie. Um, let's engage with Cactus. Move him right there so that the other borer can't just like engage on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and smack him. We did a nice amount of damage. I was kind of worried that um, we weren't going to be able to... We could just spend that right now. Let's... Deals 8 damage. They have 9 health, unfortunately, so that would be kind of a waste. Oh, no. Terror? What the heck is terror? Oh, God. Oh, Granoff is not okay. After five applications, the terrified unit flees the battle. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, that's a bit spicy. So we can't really bull rush, unfortunately. I wish I could undo. Is there a way to undo GG full wipe? Not yet. Okay, we could do this. Let's see if this works. This probably will not work. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it did. Because uh, now they're engaged. Oh, God. Granoff. Oh, my God. Yo, Granoff is just absolutely done. There's no way. He's actually like penned in. I don't think there's like any way he could get he could get out of that unless he can walk through. I mean, they are ghosts. Let's use um damage taken off the next attack reduced by 70%. Let's use deflection and we'll use destabilization. I'm not going to give up on Grandoff just just yet.
Oh God, oh my God, Grant off. No. He can't Grant off. He's, he's, there's no way. Nice. Maybe Mimi can get a kill with her big smash. Ouch. Um. So who's engaged with who? This ghost wolf is engaged. We can just like earn a little bit of valor. But truth be told, I really need to go and help Gran off. Oh, can we poison? Yes. I don't want to kill that wolf there because we're going to earn valor from Mimi's attack. Oh my god, there's more coming in. Okay, Mimi, you need to do your attack. Fury? What do you mean? They're going to get buffed? They're going to get even, like, harder? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run her over here. Uh, and then I'm going to wind up an attack like this for maximum potential. And hopefully things will just kind of walk in her way there. Um, th it's not looking good, lads. Okay, that's one. That's good. If we could get something else here, that would be perfect. No, not quite. Um... Okay, what what in the world do we even do here? Oh my god, Granoff. Jesus. Okay, um, I could push this ghost boar, but I don't think it would actually help. Because, like, you can see where it's gonna land, and that's not gonna buy Granoff enough room to, like, sneak out. Maybe I could kill it though. Could I like kill it? Could I kill this ghost wolf? This is gonna do eight to 12 damage. There's a small chance I could kill this guy using both of these attacks. Eight to 12, come on. Come on. Yes! There's a, there's hope for Granoff. Oh, and what, Mimi Mimi gets her, uh, her, her big swing. Unfortunately, um, Cactus has been engaged. So Granoff has four stacks right now. The problem is that if he takes an attack of opportunity, which he's going to now, yeah, he just ran off. He 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 lived his uh, up to his name. He literally lived up to his name. When a unit flees in terror, they disappear from combat, but do not leave your troop. They will reappear once the battle has ended. Well, that's nice. I can't believe what what just what just happened there. Um, we're we're like not even you know we're we're really not okay right now. <laughs> Do some damage. Maybe Mimi can get a double kill here. That would be ideal. Mimi is not okay. She's got two stacks right now of terror. Glad it gets to live though. Yeah, that's the nice thing for sure. Um, if we could earn some valor with uh, Porlay, that'd be kind of nice. Oh, we can't because we can't get in there. Oh, man. Um, let's uh, throw some more some poison stacks on these lads. Strong legs make for the best martial arts.
I shouldn't have used um, Porlay. That was really dumb. Actually, I don't know who is left. I guess it was just Porlay. It really sucks that I can't generate more Valor with him, but, you know, them's, them's the breaks. Let's just go over here and, like, try and, try and um, block this group from coming in a little bit. Generate some more poison stacks on them. A nightmare has just appeared. What? Ah! Why do you... Why are we making this even harder? Okay, Cactus, I need you to disengage. Actually, no. Problem is... Okay, actually, th that's fine. Disengage. You're gonna gain an extra stack of terror. There we go. Oh no, everything is not fine. The fact that they're getting terror is like honestly the worst part. Like the terror is going to get me way, way sooner. Uh, honestly, the best I can hope for is that everyone gets terrified and leaves before anyone dies. The good news is that like I have major choke points. Mimi sees I need you to do this. Kill! Oh, it didn't reach this guy? Oh my god. Like, I need I need you to kill. This only does seven damage, so we can't kill anything with it. Um Okay, just just keep doing what you're doing, Mimi. That's what we're doing. You have oh zero stacks of did the uh, terror stacks reset? I wonder if like gaining morale. There are fourteen enemies. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You got it right. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, can stack some more poison on this boar. Kill this lad. Oh, wait, it's not going to kill him? Oh, it did kill him. Thank God. Let's maybe back him up a little bit. We're still going to hem them in. Don't worry. Oh, we're bleeding? Oh, we're... Did we poison ourselves somehow? That's not what we want. I If you just crit on every single attack, I think not everyone will die. Just, just do that. Um, is Rhino... Reno the only one who hasn't moved? Uh, where, where is our other lad? Did he just run off? Who was that? Cactus? Cactus is gone. Cactus has, has fled the premises. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, he got a crit. Ideal. Actually ideal. Could we maybe kill something else as well? Yes! Aw, oh, heck yeah, bud. Reno actually, like, pulling up... Pulling out the, the stops. If Mimi doesn't get terrified, she could possibly get a double kill. No! Porlay's not looking good. We may lose some people. <laughs> Excuse me? You can just like do damage from a from a distance? What? Okay, um who okay, y you need to kill. Mimesis, kill. Oh, you didn't kill everyone. That's fine. Um
Mimesis is uh okay let's move her like here and continue this this move it's a it's a good move you need to just need to like aim it so that you think that you'll collect more enemies within it uh someone some people may die here i'm not gonna lie percy what are you doing 76 HP nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, it's really not ideal, is it? Okay, who is next in the turn order? I don't... Percy, what are you doing? He's like roaming around and like smashing his head into the mic. Um... Okay, Reno, we could do a, a shot here. Let's like move you back a little bit and then maybe we can do an attack of opportunity here. That did not work. Why did, why did that not work? Oh, I, I guess it disengaged him from uh, Porlay. This is actually ideal. Let's actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up and engage him. Can I not, can I engage him like from this distance? Uh, I was really hoping I could engage him. Um, okay, that sucks. Can, okay, I'm gonna move. Who needs health more? Kind of Porlay. Yeah, let's, let's go over here. And I'm gonna use first aid on Porlay. Give him some health and cure him of his poison. Discretion is the better part of Valor. We could just give up. Your companion's armor will take damage and they risk being in injured. Let's do that. I need to do that. I, I don't want anyone to die. Let's get out of here. So, God, just goddamn. We do have a, a quest to hand in, which is good. We're alive, which is better. Granoff became tough too. Did he? I want. I don't want to be in the woods anymore. Note to never enter deep fog. Yeah, no kidding. Like, damn. I don't have enough to pay everyone, so they're not going to be happy about that. But we do have some booze. That always makes people happy. So. Yeah, no one died, and that's really good. Your your uh, companions are furious with the wage delays. That's fine. We're still at 13 happiness. Like, uh, you know, like, honestly, uh, couldn't couldn't really ask for, for better right now. The fact that I survived that is wild to me. Gonna head back, hand in our quest, maybe load up on supplies. I have to repair and heal everyone. So uh, all of our funds are gonna go towards that, basically. I didn't find the bandits, like that was the worst part about that. Who needs wages when Bill gives you booze? I mean, pizza parties. <laughs> I, I get it. That's really good. Um, all right, let's hand in our quest. Click bounty. So we should be able to um, kind of like negotiate quests now a little bit. I don't know how to do that. Ah, here we go. Um, adjust the negotiation meter to get better price for the contract. So see, I would like to get... Um, wait, what am I trying to do here? Okay. Spend some reputation to get the most. Request, requested reward is 126. Oh, I see. 
I can try and negotiate 126 and I can spend more reputation to try and make that happen. The worst I lo lose, like if I do 50-50, then I, I lose the reputation, but I don't gain the reward. So let's go like 75. Successful. Nice. Accept offer. Oh, we could go higher. Oh, let's go higher. Negotiation, negotiation is acceptable. Uh, can we go? Can we go even higher? Yo, one eighty-three for an easy uh, reward. That's exactly what we need. Yo, okay. Uh, though things are a little bit hard right now, that's fine. We we can make up the difference. Let's get. Uh, I think we're good for food actually. Still, maybe not actually. I don't know. Um, not sure. We definitely, we need to, what we need to do is repair our gear. That's 32 gone. And it's going to be like another 60 to heal everyone. I can't afford that. I forgot to equip these deserters brigadine. That is uh, medium armor. Who can wear medium armor? Didn't, uh, wasn't it Cactus got the ability to wear medium armor? So you have armor 11. This is armor 11, but you get a bunch of other stuff as well. So that's good. And then this armor 11, which is basic armor, can go to someone else. Uh, maybe uh, maybe Granoff. What is Porlay using? Porlay could definitely use an armor upgrade, so let's give it to Porlay. Uh, and then we can sell this for 8 gold, which is not a lot. Um, Fangs of Old Animal can be used as currency with trackers. We should try and find some trackers. Apparently they would give us some money for some of our extra stuff. We just barely have enough money to heal everyone, so let's go ahead and do that. Who needs health care anyway, right? So we need to go um, east. Uh, I need to find trackers. Not sure what they look like. Maybe like merchants? Could these merchants give us um, something for the fangs? They have carp, which I do like, but uh, they will give us nothing. We could attack merchants. When you become so desperate that you just attack people. Archer's doublet. Legion lance. Well, there's our first lance, but we can't afford it even remotely. Good to know. I should probably be checking these merchants a little bit more often. Freedom. So you're saying, uh, Cactus, that, oh yeah, we can, there's definitely things we should be checking more often. Oh. Do you guys have wheat? Oh, you're walking away. I need, uh, like all the th time spent in the wild is like very kind of, precious because we're on a timeline here and i i really want to find this um uh Ju judanga judanga gang before i have to make camp it's probably not going to happen let's be honest there they are oh we don't have a fisherman anymore so okay ambush them yes Uh, I said it was going to stop War Tales like a long time ago, didn't I? Is Drino bleeding? What's... Mud. Oh, you're in the mud. Okay. Uh, Judunga the Idiot is a champion. We've got our first champion. What are they? Leader's Aggression. This unit always deals critical hits. Uh, I guess we need to kill this leader, like, post-haste. Um, 
So what we want to do is engage with Cactus. And then come in with um, Parlay. So we, we gain some, like, two Valor, like, right away. And we'll have uh, Grand off over here. So let's engage with Cactus. Um, yeah, we can do something like this. Valor received. Just engaging, engaging the leader is enough. Oh, really? So we'll gain some extra Valor here. Gaining tons of valor. We should be able to spend it. Oh, no, they've they've got cactus surrounded. That's not good uh, The good news though is that we can get in uh, with Mimi and get a big old attack in Oh my god, yo cactus might die <laughs> Jeez Um, all right, we need to get in here and protect Cactus. Okay, he's supported. Let's do, um, Taunt. And Destabilization. And, sure, let's throw in some protection. And slice this guy in. I I'm a little bit worried for Cactus right now. I might have to get to uh, Reno to come in and patch him up. Although he, Reno is always like so far away from battle. That is my fault. Make no mistake, but it still sucks. Can't even hit the other guy. So Reno's turn is like completely wasted. Oh, is this guy a ranger? Oh no, that's not good. Oh my god. I completely took this combat for granted, I will, won't lie. Okay, Mimi is probably not going to be able to take these guys out. It might be better since I have two turns before anyone else. Uh, who's next for combat? Oh, it's this guy. So that's actually really good for us. What we should do is uh, do some stuff. Um, we'll do we'll do something with with Gran off. Let's do like another destabilization. I want to kill at least one of these lads. Um, this is five to six, so it won't kill him. That's the good part. Because we want to kill him with Mimi so that um, we generate some Valor. There we go. And we can also do a Relentless Charge to finish that other guy off. That should also, you know, this, I, I kind of disagree with this. Is That should also generate Valor because I'm technically hitting several enemies. I'm not sure why that doesn't also generate... Um, we're going to taunt this guy. That takes him out of combat or uh, out of engagement with Cactus. So we, we did it. I think it did a really good job of it, actually. Um, Mimi, should, like, just absolutely doing a wonderful job. Uh, pretty much saved Cactus completely. Uh, I definitely want to get Reno out of this situation. He really needs more movement. He has a 49% chance to... Uh, Hit that guy. So we're not. Wow. Oh my God. He still hit Cactus. Cactus gets uh, a trait. Glorious. I think he got that for um, killing a um, chance to generate one valor point at the end of their turn for killing a champion, probably. How awful would it be if uh, they then died? Oh my god, they, they are poisoned. Um, Reno. Oh, Reno doesn't have a turn, and I don't have any Valor. Can you die of poison in this game? Applies two poison to any units. Oh man. Uh, I'm a little bit worried, actually. I need to somehow generate... 
some valor and then use Reno to heal Cactus. The only way I can see of doing that is if I could get, well, technically, if I could get Cactus in there uh, and engage with the poacher. But I don't think that's a good idea. It'd be better if I could engage with, like, Granoff. If I could engage with Granoff. Um, it's just poor lay right now. Poor lay or... Man, this sucks. I don't know how to generate any valor. So long and thanks for all the fish. Got you, friend. Ugh. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I'm hoping that poison doesn't kill. Um, can we get Mimi in there? No, because we don't have any Valor. Damn it. It's just really rough. I have no way of generating any Valor right now. Unless I could, like, finish this combat right now. Get a, like, amazing crit. Uh, a crit right there would have would have absolutely done it. Maybe I can get a shot off with uh, Reno. It's the only thing I can see, maybe. Oh, don't. Oh, God. Idiot. Come on. Yo. Yo. Cactus lives. Uh, you know, I, I, that, that is, uh, I think the, the living definition of clutch. It would be great if I could make it back to town before I have to make camp, because then I won't lose the morale. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I might. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close. Another day of this life. I wish that they, if they didn't get, like, slower, then I would have made it. Damn. Okay. By the tip of the spine of the cactus. Not happy with the wage delays. That's fine. You have gained the following bonus. Experience gained in combat increased by 15%. Uh, cactus has something to say. I think we're all feeling dejected after fleeing the battle. Still, there's no shame in knowing when to bow out. Even the strongest fighters sometimes face a foe who's just too strong. Uh, ad admonish the group for their cowardice. Eat, <laughs> suggested by Granoff, requires three grilled carp. Ignore, requires two grilled carp. Uh, Cactus, I'll let you decide this since it's, it's you. Uh, I don't mind whatever you want. I'm going to go to the washroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back.
classic toilet door. <laughs> uh, try to forget the shame, definitely. Okay. Don't know what you're talking about. The carp tastes good, though. Classic toilet door. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue what I was talking about either. <laughs> All right. Ignore it. Um, all right, let's, uh, hand in our quest. Probably gonna call it for War Tales for now. Uh, after I hand in this quest. Um, here's what I'm gonna do, chat. I'm gonna start a poll. Continue with Creek. Switch. All right, I'm doing a poll. Good time, surprise we're still going. Must be Bill's strong leadership. Absolutely. Rat infestation is destroying our lands at night. We can hear uh, piercing screeches coming from teeming masses. Uh, I kind of want to reapproach Bandit's lair at some point. I don't know. I don't. I'm a little worried about our our money situation, just a little bit. I'm just like barely keeping on top of it. Uh, we're going to buy some more salt. 10 salt. And we're going to buy some more carp. Oh, they don't have any more carp. No more carp. Oh, no. Jeez. Okay. Uh, that's, that's kind of a problem. What about you? Do you have anything for us? You have salt, leather, barber kit. These are trade goods. I could try doing trade goods at some point. That might uh that might help us earn a bit of money. Doing trade goods might be might be a good idea for for next time. And we can just like roam you mentioned Creek was short. Uh, I don't know how long Creek is. It could be eight hours, which me would mean it would be at least two more, like today and then next stream. It looks like Switch is beating, like, by a landslide. Two votes. There's only two votes, though. So. Uh, let me have a look at uh, Creek. Creek's, let me see the general, like, hours spent from reviews 9.5 hours 8 hours 5 hours gameplay is kind of meh individual puzzles are designed well but they get a bit repetitive I finished it in only 5 hours currently I have played it for 1 hour <laughs> so it could be a few more streams um, I am I'm totally okay switching um, I'm also con happy to continue it. It's uh, really uh, up, up, up for debate. Sinister Cave. While uh, how about this? While I wait, or uh, while we uh, decide, I should say. Let's. We have no food. I have to buy food. This is a this is a problem. I mean, we can buy normal food. We don't have to buy fish. We don't need to buy carp. I mean, but it just it's it, you know I already like I'm already having food problems. I wish I could learn how to cook perch. How would how, do we know how to cook? Like do we? No, we don't have. 
We don't have it like unlocked anywhere. Yeah, if only I could find wheat. I, the fact that wheat is so hard to find is actually, I think, a flaw a little bit in the game. I wish there were better ways or, or more ways of uh, learning recipes. This is a, uh, a problem I, I find a lot of games have is like when you have like recipes for cooking, finding those recipe recipes is generally very difficult. This brandy is reduced, so I'm going to buy a little bit of it. I could learn for a hundred gold and it's like a hundred gold to learn how to make apple pancakes. I can't imagine a bigger waste of money. Um, I mean, I, it doesn't have to be anonymous, um, Mimi. It's just, uh, I like, I don't care. You can, you can be vocal and chat about what you, what you think I should do. Yeah, I'm not really sure. If I could find a reliable way of getting wheat, that'd be ideal. Um, I almost feel like it's kind of dumb. How much, like, how much uh, do each of these earn? Where, okay, wage is 16. You know what? Um, well, we, I guess it would cost a commission fee to buy another person. Um... I feel like we should get another person just to be a fisherman for a little bit or something useful. Oh, that's nice. That was kind of a nice find. Um, there's something over here to do. Sinister cave. Oh, no. Oh. What is our mission over here? Guard outpost. What are we trying to do here? Ah, there's a quest here. To think that we have to camp out here because of some pig-headed bandit. A Beth Ram will stop at nothing to terrorize the yokels. But when it comes to facing the guards, that's a whole other matter. You see that cave to the north? He's holed up in there. It's been three days and still he won't surrender. Beth Ram knows he's done. Uh, done for, yet he continues defending his, this, his lair with such doggedness that we have no choice but to starve him to death. That's why I need mercenaries. He doesn't know you. He might even let you in if he thinks he can convince you to help him. Uh, once you've gained his trust, you can finish him off for us. We'll make it worth your while. Sure. Nothing is beneath him. Bethlehem stole two cows and a calf from my brother-in-law in one night. His family lost everything. Sounds like something I could use. I will never help the refugees after what happened. They are all just like Bethram, lawless scoundrel. Well, I don't think that's true, though. Oh, cut wood, huh? Warrior? Must be equipped with a one-handed axe. Okay. I'm wanting to switch because I'm kind of interested to play Creek myself someday, and I do not want the plot to spoil. But that might be unlikely to happen anytime soon. That's a that's a valid reason. Uh, use lockpick. We don't have a thief. Uh, okay, let's talk to Bethram. Mercenaries, did Fergus send you to help us? Uh, Rovend hired you to kill me. I beg of you, don't do this. We do not enjoy bullying the farmers, you know. We have no choice if we want to survive. Rovend is the other one, is the one who must die. I will watch his offer, match his offer. In fact, I can pay you more, and you would be doing a good deed. Once he's gone, the farmers of Siltrin will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with us. Kill the captain. It's the only... I mean, that doesn't sound good. Um, uh, these rewards are actually not all that good. They're the same, in fact. So I, I, I'm afraid I am going to attack y'all. 
Change my vote from Creek to Switch. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm going to do this combat and then I'll move on. Leader's aggression. Hoodlum, hoodlum, hoodlum. There's a lot of you, huh? Um, some of my lads have no armor right now. We need to attack B Bethlehem like right away. Um, let's get these lads over here. We'll get Cactus and Mimi go well together because um, Cactus gets Valor for engaging and Mimi just absolutely stomps. Where is... Okay, Porle is here. Uh, this is not great. There's a lot of them. Okay, let's um, let's start the ball rolling here a little bit. Oh no! Oh, he engaged with Reno. That's like the worst case scenario. And poisoned him. Oh god. Uh, in that case, I'll engage with, um, Porle, because we'll get some Valor. If I could hit those lads over there, I cannot. It says I can. But I cannot. Okay, um, just throw, uh, a knife at this guy. Oh, crit with the knife. Very nice. Um, risk hurting him. I, I'm going to end the turn. I could kill him, but I want to gain that extra bit of valor. Is actually going to do a lot to help. How do we get more teammates, by the way? Uh, it's when I go to the bar, there's people I can hire, but I've been running into like health, um, like money issues for a while now. And it's 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 been a problem. Um, so I could try and kill this hoodlum. That would actually be a pretty good idea. Mimi's with the save. Mimi always, uh, helps her friends. Back her up a bit. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna block off this whole thing and then she's gonna wind up a big attack. Cactus is on his own again. Cactus is always in a tricky situation. That's why we call him Tricky Cactus. That's not his real name. That's fine. These are all ranged users. So they're not going to walk up to Mimi. I don't know why I, I did that. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, I'm gonna run him over here and try and kill this captain. 80% chance. Come on. Yes! Except now they've earned leader's aggression again. Can we kill him? Yes! Yes! And we get some valor from that as well. Um, that was a really good turn. Oh, I should have healed myself. That was dumb. We do gain Valor from Cactus getting engaged in combat. Jeez, C Cactus is just like not okay. Crit. A crit would be really nice right about now. Cactus. Police. Um. So, yeah, Mimi is not. Okay, Mimi can get over here. I think he can. she can uh, even bull rush through them. Yes. And then uh, coup de grace both of them. And as long as Cactus can survive, I might be able to heal him with Reno. 
Could be good. Could be really good. Um, I'm going to do an encouragement. Not a bad time to use something like that. And then we'll just go ahead and attack this guy. Killing the champion right away was, uh, I think, a good move. Let's see if I can't um, do some damage to this guy. 100% chance. I'm hoping that Mimi's attack might kill both of these lads. I'm going to move over here. Okay, uh, Granoff is not in a great situation. He is, uh, uh, however, the only person with armor. So, uh, he can take a couple of hits before it starts to become nasty. Cact is still not okay. Uh, I shouldn't have moved Reno over. I should have ran back over to, to help. Um, so, we're going to do... This kind of sucks. If I could go here and like stab this guy and then run over and get some valor from this, that would have been, that would be ideal. Um, I, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think there's any way to like game this, unfortunately. You can also recruit people at the prison, but those recruits are generally worse because criminals bad. I should have just ran over and killed this guy. I don't know why I hesitated on that. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that wasn't too much damage. Yo, I just realized they're both in range of a, of a nasty boulder. Are they both about to die? I'm worried about poor Lay, actually. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I uh, didn't realize that was happening. Oh my god, Mimi! Mimi Crush! Just as planned. Man, Reno, you you need some more movement. Kill. Why can't we use Wrath? Okay, there we go. Wrath. Kill. I was scared for Granoff. Nah, Granoff's fine. Okay, we have enough resources to heal everyone. This is good. Yo, a bow? New bow for uh, Reno? And a bird whistle. When you blow into it, the instrument mimics the call of a duck. Not so much of a whistle, more like a, a horn. Captain Rovand. So, Bethram is dead. My men and the good citizens of Tiltran will be glad to hear it. I must commend you for your courage and your devotion to our cause. Here is the reward the Lady Mayoress promised me. You deserve it. Goodbye. Villagers no longer have to fear Bethram. Golden key. Precious, but not as much as the treasure it keeps sealed. Is the treasure here? Also, is there anything to mine here? Locked. Is, is this what we can use the key on? I have the key. How does one use it? I don't, I don't get it. Do you, do you know what's up, Vild? Uh, Vild? I don't know what's going on. Uh, we got a doublet. 
Movement plus two, armor plus ten. That sounds like a great armor for Reno. Um, can we wear... Yeah, he can wear that extra movement speed for uh, Reno. Thank God. He needs that so bad. Everyone's got pretty good armor now. Yeah, everyone's got like pretty pretty semi decent armor, like at least upgraded armor. Um, Reno, can you also use this bow? Um, gained extra dexterity, so more damage. Uh, you would lose the shoot spell, a skill. Instead, you gain vicious shot. Deals six to eleven damage to the target and knocks them back by two meters. So by default, um, Reno would always knock someone back. Uh, that seems like it could be just better. And definitely it's going to do more damage. 6 to 11 actually doesn't do as much damage. This one does... Oh, I see. Yeah, so you, I gain more dexterity, but for some reason this bow doesn't do as much damage. I don't know. I think it's still a win overall. The treasure is here or in the camp. I killed the guards. Ah. Well, I don't have a thief, unfortunately, to uh, open up that chest, so I just leave... Maybe we'll check it out. Check out the, uh, the camp. See if there's a chest there I can open. There is a chest, but I can't even interact with it. Fresh mint. Oh yeah. Thank God. Okay, we've got we've actually got some good money now. Um. We could try and complete another quest. I'm not really good for food right now. Is my main concern. We could talk to these merchants. Uh, I am going to end um, War Tales, though. I keep saying that, but, like, damn, if this game doesn't, like, have me. I could, oh, new hammer? 160. I might I interest you in my humble wares. Oh, Annihilation. Deals 60 to 80% strength damage to the target. This attack ignores guard. Yo. Do we just, like, make... Mimesis absolutely hulk out. Yes. Yo, Bill leveled up. Ornate hammer. Wait, is that one handed? It is one handed. I don't know if this is as good. Because she needs, uh, she needs to be able to hit multiple targets. Uh, hmm. The, the camp chest was in the rightmost tent. Okay, sorry. Uh, chat, I think I messed up. I didn't realize this was only one-handed. I guess I should have realized that. One-handed mace. Damn it. Damn. Um, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to salvage the situation. Um, I can give this to Cactus. Pretty sure he can use this. Cactus cannot equip this type of weapon. Why not? Because he's a protector? Is that why? What about Granoff? He's a fighter. Can he use this? Why not? Yo, that's a little frustrating. Just, just why not, though? Okay, well, we'll keep the hammer and we'll give it to someone else when they join. I'm a swordsman, silly. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's, that's unfortunate. Not, not great. Okay, let me go back to the camp and check. Because um, apparently I missed something here. Aha. Some gold. Marsh parsley. Very common in humid places such as in marshes and riverbanks. This plank reduces, induces nausea and convulsions and can also lower heart rate and also punch. An artisan can use this steel punch to leave their hallmark just about anywhere. Bonus. Also earns one influence when profession experience is gained. Backpack accessory. Does that go on Bill? Who does that go on? 
Oh, I see. It can go on maybe anyone. Yeah, okay. Uh, when profession experience is gained. We probably do want to give it to Cactus because, I mean, he's a blacksmith. He's going to be doing some stuff. What, Bill. Bill leveled up. Bill gets more movement. That seems like a good thing to give Bill. Um, we can make him a war pony or give him more carrying capacity. What do you think, chat? I I'm going to leave it up to you since it's Bill is the captain. Should we make uh, Bill, like, um, fight? You can sell the one-handed hammer in case you start to run out of money. I can, but I, I spent 150 on it, and I'm probably not going to get nearly that much back. So it'd be more valuable to me to just keep it and use it um, on on someone that I hire. Speaking of which, why don't we uh, have a look, shop around a little bit for another henchman. We do have, uh, we have to pay wages, unfortunately. We've got Agwit. Uh, pay me well. So it'll cost me 40 reputation and 80 funds. And he's a ranger, so he can't use a hammer. I want someone who can use his hammer, because I don't want to, I don't want my money to get wasted. I'm at your service, provided you pay me handsomely. You are a brute, so you could probably use um, the hammer. I, I wish I had a bit more explanation on what these mean, what these do. So I'm pretty sure... I, well, it won't let me equip it now, but I'm pretty sure she can use hammers. Captains go down with the ship, let everyone else storm the breaches. The beaches. Um, she costs 80 and 40 reputation. All right, let's do it. Join your troop. Your companions will happily welcome her. Brute can hammer, yes. Um... So she'll gain a lot from this. She, she could use some better armor. I have slightly better armor for her. I mean, carry capacity, of course. I need more food. I currently have zero food. Let's buy some pie. I have, like, no money, actually. Uh, let's sell the hammer. And I'll buy some pie. I should have enough now. For everyone. I have exactly enough. Good lord. Okay, we're gonna call it here. I'm still in kind of a very, you know, not great situation. Anelia is part of our crew now. Um, who, who wants to be Anelia? How do I... There we go. Anyone want to be Anelia? Smasher. Deal nine damage to all uh, of the units in the area. Applies two poisons to bleeding units. All right, that's I didn't take that before. Destroyer. Deals 10 to 12 damage to the target and applies weakening. That's actually really nice. And she could have heavy armor. Um, let's just give her strength. Didn't I take career? Isn't there a way to improve this? I thought I took career. I did take career. I guess I don't have enough, uh, influence. Oh, wait a minute. Career plans. You can spend influence to add one, plus one to an aptitude when leveling up. Cost 10. There we go. Yep. There we go. Press career plans button below the attributes. I am broke. Hey, twin. How are you doing? 
Um, so has has chat decided on where uh, how is Bim um, Bill? Almost called him Bimple. Is Bill gonna become a, a a work pony or a war pony? I feel like like the the problem with making him a war pony is that I don't want to lose Bill. <laughs> Hey twin, do you want to be um, part of the game? Do you want to be our new recruit, Anelia and Alina? Orc pony must protect our captain. Must be protected. Bill leads from the back. Okay. Work pony, it is. I really have like no money and now no food either. It's like really not a great situation I'm in. Like I really am just like living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, Cactus unlocked the trait ascetic. What is that? Consumes one less. Nice. Good for you. That That is actually very helpful. Thank you. What? Wah. Arr. Um, Anelia, you're going to be probably, we could be a bard, but I think we need a scholar. Can decipher codices and piece together antique, antiquities, antiquities at the camp lan lantern. Or should, be a, should she be a thief? I could become another blunt character, sure. I just accepted living with no wages or food. Glorious ascetism. Do you want to be a thief or uh, or a scholar? Blunt thief. We could sure use a thief, honestly. There's always willpower is or uh, sorry angler as well. Willpower is also potentially good. I can always switch it. Um, uh, I'll I'll change it if you uh, if you answer. We're gonna need some more lock picks. Oh, camp chest. Place the items you wish. We still need to make a, a lectern. We need camping gear. No, we need. What do we need to make a lectern? I still want to make the uh, tent. I need more leather. Damn it. Tent would actually be really good. Um, we can spin, we can make some uh, lock picks. Much more, much, much, much experience gained. Can we make anything here? Nope, we still have no weed. We have tons of salt. We just need wheat and then we'd be we'd be great. All right, Chet, that's going to do it for War Tales. Um, that was a lot of War Tales and that's fine. I love this game. Um, something I am going to try and do. Wait, no, save. Okay. Something I'm going to try and do for my streams is put chapters in the stream while the stream is happening just so it's easier for me in the future. I don't have to look up uh, when I did something, you know, like when, like I can change it on the fly pretty much. So what I'm going to do here is just give me a second. This, uh, this won't take me a second here. Zero, 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 zero. 